podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. He's a different breed of person. It's not like us. Why is he ducking George Foreman? He's already a tramp. He ain't no champ. Around here driving, making a business out of it. I'm a champion. I fight everybody every month. All of them. Bar none. Theboxingvoice.com. I kept telling him he had no punch. He couldn't hit. He's swinging like a sissy. He's missing. Let me see your box. I hadn't started dancing yet. He talks too much. He's ugly. He's pretending. I'm the true champion. And they make me the underdog. I'm going to show them all their own. Muhammad Ali didn't have a lot of muscles. He wasn't all that strong. This man's presence. You could hit him where you hit everyone else, but he was not willing to fall. He was not willing to be counted out. I haven't convinced these suckers yet. I destroyed George Foreman. I destroyed Joe Frazier. Because I'm the champion. I'm the real champion. There'll never be one like me. Fast. Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. I'm a bad man. I told you I'm the real champion. I told you I'm the champion of the world. SDS promotion. What up, what up, what up? Welcome oh, he's back. He's an animal. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode the of the Boxing Voice Radio. We're going to be doing some live fight chats. We're going to be going back and forth to the channels as uh, promoters and networks don't care about their consumers and they do a bunch of counter production. Right? So we have a Showtime card on Showtime Sports. Boxing, and then we have ESPN with Michaela Mayer and uh, Jennifer Hahn. We have Showtime with uh, Lubin and Fondora, and then we have uh, right here on the Zone Ryan uh, versus To Go. And um, I just want to, you know, show you guys why the Lubin fight is so interesting. Um, this weigh-in is just ridiculous. It it almost looks photoshopped. Can we get a screen share? This is crazy. Like, this is legit crazy. That's bigger than, is that a bigger weight, I mean, height advantage than what Canelo had with Callum Smith or Rocky Fielder? Like, bro, he looks small as holy fuck. Eight inches? Look at him right there, bro. This is crazy. And I'm so interested in that fight. I picked Lubin, which looks like he's at a sheer disadvantage. Just like, like he can't even reach his chin, bruh. Now, I know that this guy gives up his height. That's the, that's the beauty of it. That this height, while it looks insane for weigh-ins, he gives up a lot of it in a fight. But I, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to see this damn thing. I want to see how is Lubin going to chop this tree down or is this motherfucking tree going to fall on? I want to know how does Fondora make 154 pounds? Like you were know, telling bro. me the other day how you got down to 217 a couple years ago and you felt sick. Mm -mm. Or you said... Not sick. I just was not strong enough to bang with a 268 pound heavyweight. Mm. That motherfucker. And he was Mexican. He was a bull. Bro, well, and his father passed away to, that week. So he came in there to kill me. So, you know, a little different circumstances. I wasn't weight drained. I still have fat to lose. It's just I was already down to 217 and still ain't have a six pack. So I'm like, man, I'm out of here. Well, you and Fandora are the same height. I know, which is crazy because he got a six pack. I don't know that that's a six pack I want. 
But yeah, man, I mean, you guys are the same height and you got about 100 pounds Bro, on Bro, Lubin him. looks like he has no fear. You could take it down. Lubin looks like he has no fear. I'm, I'm, I'm really interested in that one. What else we got? We got, we got obviously the Jennifer Hahn and uh, Michaela Mayer fight. And uh, I'm interested in that, especially after I watched this Marlon Esparza fight versus uh, Yama, what is it? Uh, Yamaguchi? Mm, I'm not going to butcher the name. Okay. Leave that for you. But yeah, man. Uh, Yo, Sinisa was going in on Esparza, like, not in, not on some hood shit going in, but like, Definitely pointing out, like, I got more power than her. That's why I don't need a jab. Uh, you know, she's uh, she doesn't have stamina, so she can't really box the way she needs to box in this fight because that takes a lot of energy, and she'll, she'll get tired, and she's known for getting tired. Like, putting it on front street, so I don't know. I know they fought. Um... I mean, I'm sure, but 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 Esparza's in a weight above, right? Because she had the baby and things like that. I know they fought like at a catch weight, but now that she's got a belt, I mean, that's that's great news for Sinisa because she has nothing over there with Golden Boy. No, definitely a lot tougher for her uh, to get those women fights over there, but. You know, Esparza's lone defeat is to Sinicia Estrada. And See, she said right now, go back to 112. She said like, she's scared to come down to 108 to fight me, but I'll go back to 112 and beat her again. I'm telling you, bro. Like, and she's mad cocky. But if you're wondering who we're talking about, we're talking about Sinisa Estrada. She is the current champion at one of those divisions. I believe it's 108. And uh, we're watching DAZONE. And uh, we also have a few other fight cards that are going to be popping up. I know Showtime has started already as well. I wonder how that works. If I open up my Showtime app and just like like jump into the app, would the Chromecast stay or do you got to reconnect for every app? Because I'm Chromecasted. I think mm. you got to reconnect. Because right now we're doing app. nothing. This is like a bunch of nothing. Maybe we could be on Showtime or ESPN watching something. What you got on ESPN over there? Is it still Baloney Maloney? Yes. Yeah. That was like in the fifth round. What's the opening so, bout of some Fandora Lubin? That right there is um, halfway through, it is Salgado versus Pereira. Scheduled 10 rounder, so we'll. They're in round five now. Yo, you should get with Ryan and get the password to the Instagram because the dude you was texting got a knockout win today, Venardo. That's crazy. He was legit texting with you yesterday. He had a fight today. So yeah, he was uh, on uh, Michaela Mayer's card. Exactly, but yeah. that that shows you how uh, like down to earth he is. Normally, dudes on way in day ain't fucking with media. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. That is true. But a lot of fights tonight, Ness. Um, both uh, main so event. So many. Oh, man. man we, we got, got another some, good co-main event with Tony Harrison and Sergio Garcia. It's going to be so hard, like bouncing I, back and that's forth. That's what I was going to get at. A lot of crazy. A lot of good fights on both main event and undercard. What are you most excited for tonight? <sighs> Drunken Master? Not really. Not really. That would be dope if he done it. But, like, that's not, you know, I'm not. Tripping. Yeah, I'm not, like, that's not what I'm out here expecting. I want to see Lubin Fundora. Uh, I want to see Harrison, Sergio Garcia. I want to see um, definitely the return of Ryan Garcia, not necessarily because to go um, is talking about Drunken Master in the fifth round. Um, I want to see Mikela Mayer. It's going to be hard, but I like the way Mikela Mayer fights. She, she's, she puts out a lot of punches, and she's going to eventually fight Alicia Bumgarner. So you might as well watch it live. Like, it's so easy for me to watch them live versus going back and watching it. Mm. Like, like once this fight is over, it's hard for me to go back and watch that shit because, like, life moved on. It's more shit happening. So uh, I'd rather see Michaela May as well. We're going to have to be bouncing back and forth for real, like main event to main event. Um, but I got a cash app from Sosa Smith that says Danny Porter got guy... That's your twin at fight. What? Huh? I guess, okay, let me see. Danny, Porter got 
a guy that's your twin at the fight, he missed some words and commas and shit. We got you. Shout out to you. Uh, I think Ryan will be mailing out your glove manana. We got the boxes in today. Yeah. I wonder does the glove fit in those boxes? Can you per repurpose? I figure it out. Uh, uh, when you get a chance, email me the uh, addresses for all the people who won. Email? Man, I've been texting them shits for the last three no, weeks. No, I'm talking about for the people that won during I the live I show. I text you like last two of night, those already. Last, last I know. I text them like two of those already. I could only text because remember those people won via username. They have to claim their, you know what I'm saying. So I I text them one. Another dude, Sweetheart Fernandez, like yo, I won. I'm like, I right, prove is you. You know what I'm saying. So I'm still waiting for that proof, even though I know it's him fucking with him. <laughs> but it's so many people. You know, you gotta make you gotta make sure you gotta file a poor call. Nah, I hear you, champ. Gotta make sure everybody's doing what they supposed to be doing. Yo, what you think of my post that I repurposed from uh, Mayweather Promotions of Tank? You have, did you see that? Let me get a screen share. Um, can you turn the my audio on? <laughs> Yo, those are some new boots, too. There you go. I like those. Cool, let's cut. What you think of your mans? You gonna come looking in shape. You gonna come ready for a fight. What, you see my man Haney? We got we got to get back in the top rank, Jane. He working hard over there. Look, took Rodney over there. Johnny been over mm. there. Mm. Oof. That's so hard to do. I was doing pad work today, too. That's so hard to do. Cat shoot three-piece? Oh, my. People don't understand his talent, bro. bro. They, they talk about the chin and all that weird shit. They gonna see. Oof. Look it's who that is on hook. the TV. It's that left hook for me. Shane Mosley? No, nah, and Bones Adams. Yes, sir. That's how we're... Uh, Gym owner, I can't call him trainer. He ain't do nothing with me yet. I wish he gave you a couple pointers. Did he? Yeah, when you were yes, he did. Yeah. He invited me in the ring. You're absolutely right. Shout out to Bone Adams. He did invite me in the ring and, and 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 show me some stuff. Teach me some. Can you teach me some moves? Man, I wonder what it's like for, for Freddie Roach to be traveling. That so is much. true. Yo, Canna is so right. Haney on the pads. Without music, that's a miracle. You know that dude never got no music on. Oh, that's true. The and music always on. Always on. And 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 now I'm, I'm, I I I want to go back and listen because he's right, bro. He's so right. How do I go back? Okay, right here. He's so right. I want to hear that again. This one has no audio. Kel Brook with the quick super chat. He says, "Hey, TBV." Hey, TBV. What up, Kel, bro? What up, you chocolate I hope you brownie? get that fight. Uh. It's the catch and shoot for me, man. That's what does it for me. All right, so if you're tuning in just now, just know uh, we are doing live fight chats, but we're waiting for those specific fights that we want to watch to start. Right now, Shane Mosley should be walking to the ring, correct? Or is Rick Gabe first? Sam Mosley Jr. Okay. Wow. The they there. gave Gabe, after losing to Munguia, the A-side status. Check that out. Shout out to Rosado. We were just in the gym with this guy. Isn't that surreal? It's like he was just there, like, and and, and like, I'm doing jump rope Bro, he and was, Shane Mosley. He like, was just tying my glove in the gym. Yeah, he that. literally stopped, put his bag down to tie Danny's glove. The, my first week here, I like one of my first interviews was with Shane Mosley Jr. I, I didn't seen even know I seen you guys is on Instagram. You had him in uh, the John Orlando show. Yeah, right? the twenty four hour podcast. He was like one of the first. Yeah, he was like my first interview, and at first I didn't know who he was, and then now here he is. Now here he is. This is a big fight for him because it's uh, kind of a crossroads. Like Gabe, he's a legit journeyman at this point, gatekeeper, you know, slash gatekeeper anyway, and. Um, 
if Shane doesn't beat Gabe, I mean, he 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 falls down to like having to fight a Spike O'Sullivan or somebody. Well, he just fought. Who did he just fight? Remember, we were there. He fought. Uh, who? He fought an Irish guy. Who? Shane. Wasn't it Quigley? Yeah, it was Quigley. And he didn't win because Quigley went on to fight Andre. All right, so Gabe coming out. 26 wins, 15 losses. Has he passed Orlando Salido? Can you Google Orlando yes, Salido? Yes, he has. No way. Yes, he has. No way. Yes, Salido has. had 13 when he fought Loma. He has surpassed him. Let's see. Let's see. Double check. Orlando, so, Orlando Salido. He got Salido. Like, he got like 12. That's my, that's my impression of Diamante. Orlando Salido. Salido. <laughs> He's hilarious when he does that shit. What you got for us, Ryan? Well, I was going to ask, what exactly am I looking up when record, you say he record, passed him? Okay. Record. So, and, and we're actually looking for losses specifically. He's got 14 losses. Oh, now. the Almanac wins again. Yo, we might have to bring in some of those props from our Friday party just on the regular. We might have to give a little something, you know what I mean? Um, but... Did we... Okay, these are all Super Chats from the last show. Okay. Shout out to everybody Super Chatted on the Gennady Show. Doing well. So if you want to check out our live commentary for that 5 a.m. fight, check it out. 8 a.m. on the East Coast. It was 5 a.m. here on the West. Me and Danny caught the action. Gennady. Kind of back. He's kind of back. You know what I'm saying? The knockout helps without a doubt. You know, doing well on our Instagram. It did well online too. Uh, you know, the post fight press conference and like the highlight videos and everything. Mm. So we got the ring announcer getting started with the announcing for our co main over on the I'm zone. trying to think of who that trainer that was just putting a degrease on. Uh, Gabe's eyes. Who else? He's whose corner he's been in. He's from Philly, Baltimore area. I want to say a man, man. So I know that's for sure. But who else? I remember someone else, kind of semi lukewarm, big, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Definitely making some bread. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't look familiar to me. Huh. Who who's this guy? I don't, I don't know Who, this, this guy. This judge, yeah, this, this ref? ref. I don't know this guy. I've never seen him, bro. I've never seen him, but uh, you know, you got to give everybody a chance. We got a cash app from Sosa oh. Smith. He says Gabe's Salgado fourteen and zero versus Perella fourteen and three. Roy Jones fighter, but is he talking about Brian Perella that beat Tony Harrison? Yes. Okay. And uh, we got Sosa Smith with another who says, we thought it was Danny. Hey, look at our boy Chick Mike. Chicarelli. There, look, Mike Leonardi. Shout at, out to Mike Leonardi. Look at our boy Mike Leonardi. Yeah, he, he texts me, you know. He's like, yo, Peter Kahn is here if you want me to say anything. <laughs> Shout out to Mike. Shout out to Peter Kahn as well. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Peter. You know Peter's there with. Let me see if you know Almanac. Peter? To go. Of course. Ah, yeah, whatever. You only get a few seconds to answer. Bro, he was there Bro. in the Zoom when we had him on the show. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Yo, but you see how he pulled to the side? Like, I was like, hey, Peter. He was like. <laughs> Yo, today might be the day that you're right, Look, but that's they, because they I'm drinking them, alcohol. They showed they showed Gabe on that big jumbo with 15 losses. This one has him with 14. You're right. So Gabe, so uh, check Gabe Rosado's record, please. Make sure that uh, Danny is right. Do you guys have an official pick for this one? Like who you're kind of leaning towards on this oh, one? Oh man, I am gonna not pick on air. I mean, you already fair did. Enough, fair enough. Why? I'm Thursday. Well, who I, who I pick? 
<laughs> you picked your man from, from, from Philly? Yeah. Okay. According to Boxing Rec, they have the same amount of losses. Yes! Yo, I'm fucking hoarse from yesterday. What's going on with this bullshit? Yeah, it's not like you were like yelling for eight I hours know. straight yesterday. I wasn't, though. <laughs> Fuck, bro. I was like, yeah. <laughs> shit sounded crazy. Oh, this guy trains with Rory Jones Jr.? Yo, what is that? A tattoo on his sideburn? What are you crazy? Yeah. <laughs> not not your thing, champ. You got sideburn tattoos? Nah, nah, nah. What you got? My girl does. I ain't nothing but a hound dog. My girl does. She has it like on her ear and then it comes to her sideburn right here. I knew I would need to see that because Gabe's looks crazy. All right, I'll I'll find it. But <laughs> but let's see Gabe here. Let's see what could Shane, the West Coast fighter, do with the slick Philly fighter that's also kind of honed his craft in the West Coast. You know, he's been training with Fu on the Fuentes gym for a long time, you know, from the Goosens. And then he then he trained with uh, Freddie for a long time. He's with Freddie now. No, uh, yeah. he, he left, came back. He trained with Eric Brown at Freddie's gym. You know, he's been around. That's what I'm saying. So he's learned a lot. He's gotten better with age, and that's why I continue to pick him. And as you can see, you know, um, he was durable for Jaime or Jaime. Yeah, no, I mean, Gabe is durable for anybody. Let's not forget, it was the ref that stopped Gabe in the Gennady fight. It wasn't yeah. Gennady that stopped Gabe. Very true. Oof. Oh. Okay, Shane. Because he's going to have to fight like this if he wants to take this to the next level. It's interesting to see him with the title gloves. I know that he, oh, right hand lands for Shane. I know that he was sponsored. I got the email, uh, you know, with the advertisement, but I didn't know he legit wore them in the ring. Because Canelo is sponsored by MX Everlast, and he's not wearing that shit. Is he still, though? I mean, you know, those those deals be long, but maybe you're right. Maybe there's no longer. Because I remember he was with Under Armour for a while, and that went away. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Good jab there by Shane. Very good. Needs to double that though. Good jab by uh, Rosado now. Absolutely. Fuck man. I like the mental pressure of Rosado. He's he's staying in front of Shane. We're missing a cheer in here. You want? Ryan, we don't have any guests. Ryan, you the man. He wanted. He wanted his leg chair. Ryan the man. Uh huh. Did you guys end up getting that lady to, to come in and comb Danny's beard during the whole life? Nah. Low blow. I remember he was asking that for got, that. That got, that got denied. Denied. In the meeting. Good jab by Gabe. Actually, this is a very decent fight. They're, they're pretty much uh, on the same level. Both men banging. Very much so. But Shane is the back foot. Occasionally. Just remember, anybody ever asks you what I do, you tell them I get ice and chairs and tell them that's enough said. I mean, are there still cookies left? I'll get some fucking cookies. Yeah, no. add it to my list of stuff. No, uh, but like the, the, no, the Info know. Joe ones. Uh -huh. You got to warm them up for 45 seconds in the microwave on a <laughs> tissue. I was going to say, what other cookies do we have besides those? Might as well get baked. You might want a moist towel. I do do that too. Shout out to you. Yeah. You want one? You might as well tell them now. Hey, Ryan, can you do two of them? Might as well do two. Thank you. Shout out to Ryan, guys. Shout out to Ryan, man. Show Ryan some love in the chat. Where you at? Yeah, Ryan looked out for me. And I ain't talking Ryan about chat. Garcia. Yeah, you there's only one the Ryan tape. that matters here. Put, pull it up. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that was a childproof. That's childproof right there. Childproof packaging, man. So what are you saying about Ryan? What you mean? He opened it. He's not a child. After I told him how. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he walked down here with the box for a reason. Hey, he walked back here to make, make sure we wanted that box of cookies. I'll take a peanut butter. Good. What about me? I want peanut butter. <laughs> oh, good. There, there must not Shut be any more oatmeal. Yeah. Someone ate all the oatmeal. 
Back in the ring, we got round two, timestamp 251 on the clock. If you want to follow along with us right now on DAZONE Live, Shane Mosley taking on Gabe Rosado, the tough vet, and Mosley looking good. I was not expecting him to let hands go in fours and threes when they're considered combination. He's he's not being conservative with the punches. Good jab, even though parried by Gabe. Oh, nice right-hand counter by Gabe, and he had that left hand down low as to, you know, kind of bait Mosley in. Uh, it wasn't perfectly placed the right, but it did, you know, let Shane know Gabe is here to counter. You got to be careful. Good jab by Gabe. Another jab by Gabe. I'd like to see Shane kind of move his head more off that center line. Shane got to go back to the earlier part of this round when he was letting his hands go in combination. That makes Rosado shell up. We all know that from the Jaime fight. Overhand right barely lands or partially lands for Rosado. Appreciate it. Here you go, fams. Thanks, champ. Nice and soft. We got to eat it now or it's going to get dumb hard. That's what so, I... That's what would you guys give the first round to? Oh, I, probably. I'm probably gonna give it to Sam. Yeah, Mosley. Oh, 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 headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. We saw Rosado be a little off balance there because of it. Mm, these peanut butter cookies be rocking, y'all. Y'all better head up info, Joe. Ooh, good right hand to the body by Rosado. Oh, and Mosley returns with the right hand to the body of his own. And Shoot. doubled up the left hook. Up there, I mean, down there. Then up. You sound like Mike Tyson with a cookie in your mouth. <laughs> His ears. I'm still looking. I know. They sold out, guys. We're trying to get him for the 420 show. You're trying to get Mike Tyson? No, he's yeah, got him. those ear edibles. Oh, yeah, Mike Bites. But we want Mike, too. You got to speak it, believe it, receive it. Put it out in the universe. We want Mike, DC Samaro, Charlie Man the God. Um, that that girl, uh, something Bess. We follow her on Instagram. She's marketing. Mm. Oh, no, that one, Miss I Best or something. Yeah, yeah. She fought with Deb. Yeah, I, I know. You're um, also the other one that used to used to be pub publicist for Gucci Man, and now she got a podcast. Blew up. I know What's her name? About. I know you talking about. I know you talking about. We need her. That's how we going to get places. We need those people on. Who do you... What's the biggest name you want not related to the sport? Oh, I just said it. So I've been the guy, uh, Mike. No, nah, Mike's related to the sport. Um, Would you consider Will Smith? Of course. I mean, would you consider him related to the sport? I mean, according to you, he's I mean, one of the greatest fucking boxers. Talk, we're fucking talking about him on the show, so I would consider you. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, it's like if we talk about you that much on the show. Well, plus according to Ness, he's like the greatest fighter that hasn't actually fought ever because of the way that he sparred in those training scenes. Y'all seen the news footage I put in the part? In the part? <laughs> Ness is just trying to get a reaction. He he's clowning. He's teasing. He's giving a hard time, that's all. Will Smith for smoke your boots, B. <laughs> who had round uh, who had round two? Kinda even? Mm mm. Gabe. Gabe. Trying to choke him out. Yeah, the crowd is born M easy. That's right, we hear it. Not happy with the country. I don't know why. <laughs> What they expected, like... Here's the thing, though. You got to understand, location, that's there in San Antonio, Texas. It's it's majority Mexican crowd. And they got slick fighters on. Nah. Two of them at that. Yeah, so if it ain't guys just beating the dog shit out of each other, then they're going to be booing. Look, already. Yeah, this is the same place to fucking beer at Broner. Oh, that's where you was at for... For Madonna. Yeah. Oh, San Antonio? Is that your, the only time you've been? I don't know. I would have to think if there's any other worthy fight. Mm. It's 
So we're in round three of this 10-round Rosado Mosley Jr. fight at the 145 mark. Figure I help my boys out while they no, enjoy I their love, cookies. I love having a producer. What timestamp? Tell them the timestamp. Uh, 137, 136 right here for, what is this, Garcia to go? Even mm. though we are watching Mosley Rosado. Exactly. And if you don't have the zone, the link's in the description below. It's going to cost you nothing extra, but, you know, we'll get a little kickback because the zone knows that we sent you there. And if you haven't, make sure you go fit it. follow us on Twitter at The Boxing Voice because we are wanting to know what your picks are on every single fight that we cover with this live fight chat. That's right. You know, and if you reply to us on Twitter, we might just uh, shout you out here on the show like we're about to shout out right now with the Super Chat. He says, why Ryan trying to dress for a Spice Girl concert? Um, That's just Joe Goosen. Who loves to dress up? Joe Goosen does tend to have a... Uh, the only trainer that dresses up, really. Okay. Other than uh, Joe, Jose Guzman. Jose Guzman is actually the Puerto Rican version. Mm. That's what I've called him and dubbed him. I've told him to his face. Puerto Rican version of Joe Goosen. He dresses super sharp. You hear the crowd with the uh, asshole in Spanish chants. Really? Yeah, culero. Oh, culero? Really? Yeah. That's so, messed up, needless man. Needless to say, needless to say, uh, they are not happy. And they got and they and and, and that shit is getting to them. Ooh. They're forcing the fighters to, to to do more, but it's not fair. That's so unfair. Oh, nice overhand right there by uh, Shane Mosley Jr. He's doing good work with that jab too. Every time Rosado tries to come in, he pipes him. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> hey, yo. I didn't say he was giving him pipe. No, he, you he, said he, pipe some. That's he the same. Him. You might have to <laughs> check that vocabulary. <laughs> hey, yo. Watch out with that, Ryan. That's <laughs> it's fine. Watch out with that, Ryan. They're calling you Snapback Ryan in the chat. <laughs> I know. They, they, that, that's Got what, Larry Wade that's in the corner. My, that's what my name was this morning. Uh-oh, is he going to get a knockout? You know, there was a debate. <laughs> remember the debate on the show? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Referring uh, in Dan, you ate to... that shit already? Hell no. Oh, I ain't about to say that. You bet, Why you letting it get cold? You wilding. I'm eating this hot. Nah, bro. It's going to get hard. I'm telling you. No, homo. Yo, you, that, that's, how, that's how motherfucking uh, influential Cam was. That song was like, their their run was so old. People still do that. Mm. Round number four underway. Nice left hook. Yo, off the jab. He faked the jab. Oh, and, and a little up uppercut right there from Rosado. Very interesting. Oh, nice right hand there by Rosado again. We got super chat from uh, Big Supermax who says, crowd reminds me of Rosado versus Monroe Jr. at Cowboy Stadium. I was in the crowd. That got booed. Out the building that night. Damn. You remember what undercard that was on us? Rosado Monroe? Yeah. Nah, man. Canelo Liam Smith. Whoa. Call you Almanac. Living up to the name, but you got that last one round wrong about Rosado, man. And and Salido. So did you. Mm-mm. You said he had more. I said he had more. You said no. He got yeah. the same amount. Is it just me or does it look like Rosado's find, finding his range? Uh, he been finding his range. Or trying to at least. I think he been landing. Good Should, jab Shane, again. Shane, Shane Mosley Jr. definitely has had his moments though. Especially. Oh. oh. Ooh. He countering. He countered with that right. Like he got. Uh, uh, what's my man name? Beck the Bully. Oh, good body shot by Shane. Yeah, people do need to keep in mind, Rosado does have that one-punch knockout power happening to Beck the Bully, so definitely. Yeah, but that was perfect placement. Absolutely. To replicate that. It will be hard indeed, but. Yeah, if he does, it's. It, but, 
I'm not you saying know. he can go to sleep. He can get hurt though. Oh, 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 oh shit! Mosley hurt him. Rosado's hurt. Wow. He Sam Mosley Jr. No, he, he, he patiently though. Oh, oh another right, right hand. hand. Oh, another, another right hand. hand. Oh shit. Oh, and Gabe Rosado with the clinch. Good trying, veteran move. Good veteran move. Right trying there. to recover with 43 seconds left in round number four. Damn, that, a round Rosado was doing well in. That shit just turned around. That's what I'm saying. It's sport, baby. One punch changes everything. The boring continues. I don't understand why. Nice right uh, hand to the body by Rosado. Do you think that maybe uh, Mosley Jr. should have been more aggressive there trying to get that stoppage? Uh, I mean, Rosado's crafty, man. He's a tricky vet, man. Round comes to an end. Both men in the corner. Interested to see what they are told by their corner. Freddie Rose telling Gabe Rosado, you got to fight this guy, man. <laughs> Yo, but Gabe was doing good until he got hit. As we see the replay here. We see the right hand landed by Gabe, but then here comes. It was an uppercut. Watch the upper. Boop. Oh, mm. shit. Gabe throws an uppercut that misses Oof. and is countered with an uppercut from St. Mosey Jr. So That was crazy. Indeed. Round number five now under underway. This is a scheduled 10-round fight. Oh, wow. Yo, why does Mosley look so big, right? Good jab. Double jab and a right hand to the body. Then he brings it up top by Mosley. Around the guard. That got the attention of Rosado for sure. You can hear the thump on that. Oh, good right hand by Rosado. Wow. It was like on neck, ear area. I'm shocked Mosley took that so well. Oh, good left hook by Mosley. Uh-oh, damn. Mo uh, Freddie Rose said the pace is terrible. He won Rosado to pick it up. Who's that, Joseph Diaz Jr.? Yes. Joseph I'm Diaz Jr. doing live commentary, guys. If you're watching this, that is he who is speaking to Sergio Mora. I don't like the fact that they interviewed the trainer during the round. Like, oh, nice left hand. I mean, I there think everybody does Shane that. By Mosley Jr. I think everybody during asks the them fight. what. Yeah, PBC especially. That's Jordan Plant's job. That's Jordan Plant's mm -hmm. job. We got a cash app from my man Sosa Smith. That's one, two, three. One, two, three, four cash apps for Sosa Smith. Time to ring the alarm. <laughs> And Sosa says, it's a draw between Perella and Salgada. Perella really won. Damn. Yeah, we not on PBC. That I don't even know who Salgado is. I can't. Who was Salgado? There you go. We got Anthony Johnson says, Ness and Ringwalk. Fire. Fire emoji. Shout out to you, champ. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody that's using Cash App and saving us that 30% raping you records. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It's going to help with the visibility of the show. Oh, another quick little sharp uppercut um, by, by, by Mosley with the another left hand, over, too. Another overhand That's impressive right when there. it's with the left because he's an orthodox fighter, so it's like, uh, that was nice. Mm. Oh, good body shot by Shane. Shane was in the um, southpaw stance there momentarily. Yeah, he's back in it. Now he switches back to orthodox again. Oh! Oh, Big right hand by huge. St. Mosley Jr. Oh, wow. He is really Rosado getting a little confidence now. Visibly affected. Oh, my God. 
Good jab, stab jab to the body, too. This will be a great win for Mosley, can he? Oh, wow, Brazado swung for the fences. Lord, if he would have landed that. That is the end. That was like a baseball five. bat. Man, what are your thoughts seeing uh, Shane Mosley Jr. look uh, nah, as good? Honestly, he's, he's earning even more respect from me. I didn't know it would be this close. He, I, I didn't, you know, he's looking more energetic, more, more alive. It's, Gabe is starting to look like it might be Tom. If he can't turn it around, he's not letting his hands go. His trainer's begging him to let his hands go, and he's being outworked by the younger fighter. So all that says it might be time to let him go. If he doesn't turn it around quickly, it might be Tom, man. It might be Tom. Danny ain't take a drink with me, y'all. He like, yo, this ain't Friday show. Yeah, man. You know, I ain't really drinking like that no more. Uh, Danny went what we, what so we got hard Ness? on Friday. I got vodka. I had Tito's with some Red Bull, man, to, to get a little livey, man. My man over here sleeping and shit, nah, drinking nah, coffee nah, with yeah. cookies, and now he want NyQuil. Nah, no NyQuil. No NyQuil, champ, you know? Good jab by Mosley, man. Doubled it up. It's a nice, nice, even fight. Oh, good hook by Rosado over the top. Oh, but see, it's it. Mosley is at least like active, and his punches seem to have some thump on him, bro. You can hear these shots. Oh, good jab by Rosado. Oh, right hand by Mosley and a left hook. Then he uses his left hand to keep the range, and there goes Bones Adam being interviewed. But I'm talking over him. Okay, so he wants Mosley to move to the right a, a little bit more to take away the right hand of Rosado. Oh, good body shot by Mosley. Wow, Mosley, like, really sharpened up. Absolutely. And you know what's funny? What He was not with Bones his last fight, right? Wasn't he with uh, Justin Gambler or somebody like that? I think you're right, Tim. I'm I, telling yeah. you, and if he was with Bones his last fight, that's probably only his first fight, this being the second. Like, he looks good, bro. He's looking good. No, looking great. Yeah. Oh, good uppercut again with the lead left. Yo, he got that shit down packed, bro. That's not an easy move, man. Not at all. As we see the Chris Man. Like, he's not using a jab or nothing. He's just popping you with the lead left uppercut. That's crazy. Oh, good uppercut by Rosado on the inside. Oh, whoa, jab right hand by Mosley. Right hand by Rosado, but Mosley took that very well. Bro, Mosley is... uh. He's got. He's gonna hurt Rosado. He keeps landing right hands like that, champ. No, absolutely. I don't know how Gabe has took some of those right hands and that left hand to the two body. left hands. Oh, oh my, my goodness, god, bro! One. He's looking real sharp. Good right hand to the body by Gabe, though. That'll slow you down. Oh, and a right hand to the body of of Mosley. Yeah, it was like a shovel uppercut right right after Gabe lands a jab. So he ate the jab of Gabe to land a beautiful shovel uppercut. Man. Gabe with a little little body shot on the inside with the left hand. It had to be separated there by the I can't rest. believe they're still booing. That's because they don't know who these dudes are. And this is actually like not a boring fight. At all. Super decent. Mosley having probably the best fight of his life. Oh, right hand oh, over the top followed again. Followed by the left. Oh, my goodness. Shane Mosley Jr. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that thumbs up because Shane Mosley is definitely exceeding expectations tonight. He's doing his thing. Absolutely. Another man. jab by Mosley. Just want to remind the people, Nestor and I train at the same gym as Shane Mosley Jr. Yeah, yeah. Bones Adams gym, who's actually in the corner with Shane. Oh, nice. Another they fucking right like exchanged rights. Oh, what beautiful. a fight, man. That was a hell of a round. Best round of the fight so far. Hell yeah. That shit was like punches that was nonstop. The Shane, Shane Mosey Jr. round. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already done so, you could go ahead and check our Amari Jones interview. It's out right now on our YouTube channel. And we have uh, a bunch of uh, content. From our Porter interview. You can check that out as well. We clipped that and, and, and put it out separately so that you can, you know, consume that alone. Uh, we also had Cynthia Conti on yesterday, and that was a hell of a show. That was fantastic. Hell of a show. Fantastic. I'm actually disappointed that the numbers aren't as good as the other shows because I feel like that was our best show. 
I don't I, know what happened. I agree. It's crazy. I if you haven't agree. already checked it out, check it out because like we were killing it. Cynthia was amazing. Such a great sport. And uh, you know, we had a we had a great time. You want to check that out. Plus, we did the after show, the show after the show, only on Patreon, where it really went down. If you haven't seen that, you are missing something. Check it out. Definitely. And for we any- actually aired our new uh, pilot series, Strippers and Weed, on Patreon. And for everyone watching along with us, uh, we are at minute 234, 233 of the seventh round. Co-main event of Ryan Garcia Emmanuel to go. We got the son of a legend, Shane Mosey Jr., against the proven veteran, Gabe Rosado. Yes, sir. It seems like Mosey's been the sharper, the quicker. Yes. The first to land. The guy dictating the pace in this fight, and that's... Um, obviously surprising given that Gabe is uh, defending his regional title and is the A-side in this fight, right? Yeah, Rosado's supposed to be the A-side. Uh, probably was given to him because he took the Jaime fight and they needed another name for Jaime. And, and it probably was in a contract like, oh, we'll get you another fight. Uh, but we got King Amin of Essex Axon. Uh, do we like the boo-boo versus Rosado fight? It would be too late. If Rosado loses, we can't give him a boo-boo fight. Like he's got to at least beat someone. Oh, good right hand by Rosado, but Mosley rolled with it. I like the way Mosley's moving around the ring, but there. Just as I was gonna say, he throws that jab that I've been wanting to see. Oh, uh, good head movement by Mosley, slipping shots right now. Um. Just, oh, just to update everybody on Showtime. Co-main event is Uh-oh. now in the ring. Damn, really? So I think maybe, uh, I don't know, man. They're still being announced. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. How many rounds? We got three more minutes. Ten more minutes. Six, nine more minutes. So maybe switch over? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe We'll sw- see. We'll see. We could just watch it on yours, bro. Yeah, that's true. Because, damn, I don't want to dip off on my mans in them. Well, hopefully the main event on the zone ends in the knockout, so we <laughs> could, so we could, uh, you know, or it. or they do a couple more national anthems over there on uh, on on Showtime. That's true. Tell the Tate, damn, both of them six one, seventy six inch reach for Harrison, but he's thirty one with Sergio Garcia from Espana. He's twenty nine years old. So I think what we'll do, um, given that the Showtime boxing card is. Now underway with the co-main event, or about to be underway. I think. Ness- oh, good left up uh, hook by Rosado. I think Ness will give his tidbits on the Rosado and Shane Mosey Jr. fight, and I'll give mine on the Sergio Garcia Tony Harrison. Fight. Oh wow! So that means you get to watch one, and I have to watch the other. Well, no, no, no. I'm just saying I'll give the tidbits that way they know who's talking about what fight, and given that the laptop is in front I'm of me, I'm a tidbit you, all right? Give the tidbits. I don't think that's possible. I, I'll man. give the tidbits. Hey, shout out Tony Weeks. Main referee for... Uh, he oh, is. man. You just walked over... Bo- I'm sure this is very entertaining for our listeners at home. Nah, they got to wait for us to digest what he's saying and repeat it back to But them. they don't know that we're listening to They that. will get it after they hear us. Right now, Bones was saying something, but fucking Ryan talked over him. But he said something about, uh, I want to see hard shots. And then, I don't know, head movement. I, I don't know. It was hard. It was hard. He, and you know he mumbles. Yeah. I, re- I remember the talk that we had with Bones. What was that talk? Where it was me, you, Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Outside? And. Oh, Sh- Rosado comes up short with the right hand. There was a few times in the <laughs> conversation. Tupac 13 said, Tidbit Danny. Tidbit Danny. <laughs> oh, look at, look, at, look at Shane switching from uh, South Paul to Orthodox. Round number eight, two minutes and 25 seconds left. Joseph Diaz is saying that he thinks Rosado's going to risk it all. What do you think? You think he's going for gusto because there's only two rounds left? I don't know, man. Uh, 
Still over eight minutes left worth of fighting. But I guess we shall see. Uh-oh. Tony Harrison's still undressing, so we're doing well on the Showtime card. Yes. My man just had to, like, come out his hoodie from his waist, like, under his ankle. <laughs> he had to step out of it. That was weird. So much for the tidbits. Ooh. That should have been uh -oh. Danny's tidbit. It was more Ness tidbits. <laughs> Good right hand by Mosley. Wow. He's looping that right. Oh, and the left lands there for Mosley Jr. Boy, he is trying to get Rosado up out of here, really. He don't want no points decision. Mm. Uh oh, round one of Harrison Garcia. You got Harrison. Oh, they're in the center of the ring. <laughs> this guy. Already in the clinch. You know that shit's whack. Oh! Let's go, Mosley. Oh, big right hand by Rosado. I want to see how 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 Harrison does, cause you know Garcia was all over Fundura in that last fight, boy. And and I be feeling like Harrison be gassing. So let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. And a lot of foreigners don't get credit. You know, Formella. He didn't get credit for coming over here and beating Thulani Men Benge and then getting his 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 uh Porter and Connor Ben shots. Oh, right hand by Garcia over the top of the jab of Harrison. And here on the zone, you got fucking Rosado putting Mosley in a headlock. Yo, he could have went backwards and just did a DDT. Crazy. Mm. Oh, oh, straight right. Beautiful on the button by Rosado, but fucking Mosley. Chin of steel. Wow. Took that like nothing, right? Like he didn't even be like he wasn't mm. even hit. Over on Showtime, we are at the one minute and thirty-five second mark. Round number one, Tony Harrison, Sergio Garcia is round number eight of Rosado and Mosley Jr. comes to an end. Tony oh, Harrison good jab by nice jab there. Damn, his jab almost knocked fucking Garcia down. At least Pez headed him. Trying to Harrison trying to keep Garcia at distance. Yeah, another using, nice he's jab. using that straight jab as a jab and as a fucking stiff arm. And not just that, but he's circling around the ring away from Garcia's jab hand. Wow, he got like a, uh, what's that shit called uh, with the tiger? Ed Hardy. The Joe Goosen's jacket looks like an Ed Hardy jacket. Nah, let me see. With all the blings and shit. Hold on, wait till he turns oh, yeah, around. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got like King Ryan on the back or some shit. I yeah. mean, Joe Goosen does look like the prototypical Ed Hardy guy. Right? Absolutely, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Yo, they said I'm tired of hearing about Ryan Garcia's fast hands. I mean, but he be putting them to work. Gabe, uh, I'm sorry, round number nine is underway over on your side. On, yeah, we on got one more list. round left. Good double left hook by Mosley. And still ripping to the body, man. I mean, he still looks the fresher fighter for sure. Absolutely. But look at look at look at Sergio Garcia all over Harrison already, bro. As round number one does come to an end over on Showtime. That's crazy. Garcia bringing that pressure, Ness. Uh oh, and you got McKellar Mayer getting warmed up in the back with Kay. She lets hands go, man. I like watching her fights. And she's like, she gets hit too. She's open to be hit, so I can't wait to see how that looks with her and Alicia Bumgarner. Yeah. But I'm going to announce the fight today. Next was, next weekend. Yeah, on the 16th, right? May? Yep. I mean, March? I mean, April? On that Connor Ben undercard. Oh, wow. So on Chris Mannix, unofficial scorecard on the zone. Wow, he gave Mosley mad rounds. He's given I Mosley. I mean, but, uh, you know, I could see that. Seven of the first eight rounds. With only getting oh. Gabe's out on round two. I mean, listen, Gabe has been competitive in these rounds, but, like, you know, like, are you scoring them for him, though? That's the... Oh, good left hook by Gabe. Another oh, nice left hook left by hand. Gabe. 
That was a beautiful check left hook. Wow. They banging, boy. They banging. How's it looking over there? On so oh, good right hand on the inside by Gabe. Another right hand. Oh, big right hand by Mosley. Wow. Over on Showtime, Sergio Bruh, you Garcia. You got to have such stamina bring, to do that. Sergio Garcia with a lot of pressure. Tony Harrison against the ropes in the corner. No Garcia no fighting on the inside, throwing overhand rights, uppercuts on that inside clinch. Bro, Tony can't lose to Sergio, man. You can't lose to Sergio, Tony. You got to get it done. And let's keep in mind, it is a 10-round fight. Mm -mm. So even less rounds you're able to give away in this one. Yo, meanwhile, that's a that's a Samson Lewicovich fighter. He doing his oh thing. Oh my god, over on the zone though, they're banging us. Oh my god. Of course, as I say that they get in I'm the just clinch. so invested in Harrison. I like I can't I don't want him to lose. Minute 45, yeah, this is round a, number this two is, uh, over on showtime. It's pretty much a wrap here on the zone. We got one more round. Gabe gonna have to get a a, a come from behind knockout. He's trying. He's swinging for the yeah, fences. Yeah, he sure is swinging home run style punches. Garcia just being relentless with his pressure, very aggressive and awkward for Harrison. That's bro. Mosley has a serious chin, man. He's taking some decent shots. You got to give uh, Gabe Rosado his credit as well, right, Ness? I mean, heart of a warrior uh, has been in there with the absolute best of them. So shout out to Gabe as well. Absolutely, but... Uh, and he has shown, let's remember that Beck the Bully fight, he was down. Yeah, I mean, all that is dandy, but like this is the one you're supposed to win because this is the one that you were the A-side. No, trust you me. You didn't I get to you. be the A-side in a lot of fights in your career. You know, you wanted it. You should have wanted to ensure that you got this win. I know everybody wants to win, but, you know, again, his trainer is asking him to let his hands go. Round. His trainer's trying to motivate. He said, you hurt this guy. You can hurt him. You hurt him already. So Tenth and final round Oh, underway. left hook, and he, and he shows his trainer. He might be right. Gabe Rosado, <laughs> Rosado that is. But yeah, that's he got a swarm Mosley. He can't let Mosley jab because Mosley's like doing a decent jab with that left hand, boy. He's just mixing it. Look at that. He doubling it up, or he motherfucker turning it into a hook, man. He looking nice. Absolutely. Just got caught there, but you know. Over on Showtime, round number two is now over. And what's happening? How's man? How Sergio Garcia with just a, a bundle of pressure. Um, that shit is a recipe to, for disaster trying, for Harrison. Trying to overwhelm Tony <coughs> Harrison. Dude, if you check the fights that he lost, he's it, it looks like he gasses. So, like, I could see why Garcia thought that's the game plan. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gabe Rosado spinning Shane, Shane Mosley Jr. around there. And th Austin, can we get a link in the, for the Discord pinned over there? They're asking for it. Thank you. Man, Tony Harrison looks a bit tired already. I, I told you, bro. It may be the way he's Oh, just man. Who that? His wife? Oh, his moms. moms. I hope he get it done. He brought moms to the fight. Oh, oh, good right hand on the inside, but Mosley answers right back. Damn, this fight is crazy. Only a minute and 15 seconds left on that Rosado Mosley fight. Yeah, it's now. almost over, man. If you're following along, minute timestamp 110, 109, 108. And the Discord link is now in the chat, and I've just pinned it. For those of you joining to the top. joining me on Showtime from home, I'm at the 2 minute and 27 <coughs> second mark of round number three of the Tony Harrison, Sergio Garcia co-main uh, co event on Showtime. So Garcia with a, with an abundance of pressure, man. Oh, nice right hand there. And that's what he brought in the Fedora fight, man. Oh, Tony Harrison with the left hand to the body. That's what Harrison's oh, got. Oh, good right there, hand yo. by Harrison. That's what uh, he's going to have to do, get slick. Uh-oh, uh -oh, look at Rosado asking Mosley to stand and fight. Nah, dog. This Rosado is a fight just fight. got his head snapped back. Like, Yeah, he needs to fucking come get Mosley. He want Mosley to stay there.
Look, doesn't the, oh good little. I just hope people up don't say uh, Shane Shane ran because you know the final twenty set. Oh, oh good right beautiful hand. right hand. Oh, oh Gabe. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Rosado they, should not have said anything. Damn, that last right hand even got Rosado that he wiped his brow. Like, oh, <laughs> am I bleeding? He checked himself. Yeah, I didn't expect that performance, yo. Like, 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 like Sergio just said, he I didn't expect this shit against a veteran like Gabe. He did good, real good. This is best performance. Yo, look at Larry Wade talking Shout hella out. shit. Shout out Coach Larry Wade there. I hope the judges get it right. Man, that would be something if they didn't, right? Seriously. I mean, that would be shit. something. Round number three, the over on Showtime, as uh, the Tony Harrison fight is currently underway. It's been a very awkward and tough fight for Harrison, and Sergio Garcia has been relentless with his pressure. Although this round, Tony Harrison has had a lot of success countering um, Sergio's punches and being able to slip many of them as well. So. Harrison, to me, uh, looking sharp here in round number three. As he shoots a jab off there, trying to keep Garcia off of him. Left hand to the body. Harrison, you know, circling around a bit because of Garcia's pressure. He's trying to get his off when he can and just get out of the way of whatever Garcia has coming. Oh, nice jab there by... Tony Harrison and another one. Both of them snapping the head of Sergio Garcia back. We await the Shane official. Shane feeling himself. Extra feeling himself. We await the official decision. Oof. Beautiful, right? Over on the zone. Oof. Oh my God. As they show some uh some highlights. Damn, this shit ain't opening. Some highlights. And uh for those of you on the zone watching the fights, King Ryan indeed is next from King Gabe Rosado to King Ryan, right? Yep. He is indeed next. A lot next. of kings. Good. You know, Good I was fights. about to switch to Showtime, but we can't because we got the main event with Ryan coming on. So I'm going to have to be watching it on your computer. Don't do that. How's that, Ness? Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a team player. I don't know. You've been hiding this shit for the last two rounds. No, nah, because I was telling, you know, oh, I was man. trying to implement What the, do you want? Now you on ESPN with Stuntillion? Uh, oh, my bad. There we go. We on Showtime. We, we are not Harrison on all on that back foot. Why he always let his back foot, man? Um, the official scorecard being read off. Look, that's the guy that took the punches from Canelo. Who? I'll show you. Oh, you talking about the? All right. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Bro, I'm, I'm shocked. We got to pay uh, pay-per-view for Canelo now. It's no longer on the zone, man. That shit mm -hmm. crazy. Majority decision. Why Gabe shaking his head? <laughs> they scored those rounds closer than I thought they would. Yeah, man. It Why was, is Gabe shaking his head when it was he majority, know what It was a majority decision. That means one of the I mean, one of the judges had a draw, uh, which is holy shit. Shane start crying. Come on, that ain't the full belt, champ. I fuck with you, but what is he gonna do? Fight John Beck now? Hey, or man. what was that? WBO or WBA? WBA. Uh oh. Uh-oh, come on, team. Let's go. Yeah. Shout out Mike Leonardi. You got you a win. Look at Lowry Wade, Bones Adams. <laughs> Look at Stitch Duran. Mm. What you think's next for Mosley? Man, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Minute left over on Showtime, though. And how's how's your man's doing? Round number four. Oof. It's been a very tough good up, round. Good uppercut by, by Harrison. Another nice jab by Harrison. That's where he got to be. 
Slick and sharp, alert, man. Can't oh. let you can't let Garcia be on top of you. Oh another wow, he is him, killing him with that left and hand right now. One. Thing is, can he keep it up? See, that takes energy, a lot of it. Cause you see how explosive. Oh, oh big right, right hand by Harrison. Oh my goodness, how did Garcia take that? Bro, he's staying low. It's working for him too. Oh my God, you see that catch his shoe? Beautiful. Really? He ain't gonna be able to do this next round. I'm telling you, if he keeps nah, this up. He, he did this last round, bro. I'm telling you. Seems like he was able to adjust after the first two rounds. He looking Tony good. Tony Harrison, that is. He looking good right now. Oh, another beautiful jab by Tony Harrison. And another one. Uh-oh. As round number Damn. four does come to an end. He looks sharp. He looks sharp. I got it two round two two two. We see uh, over on Showtime, 154 pounds on Showtime. Obviously, uh, Lubin Fondora main event. Yeah. Charlo Castaño for Undisputed Coming May up. 14th. So, some big ones, um, obviously, tonight. And uh, and Terrell Gachet took on uh, Costa Zoo or son. Tim, Tim Zoo, uh, March 26th. So, a lot of good fights in the 154 pound division, isn't it, Ness? Uh, there is. I'm glad you had a cap on that water. Who's you talking about? I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm glad you got a cap. <laughs> Spillwalk Danny? Spillwalk Danny. Hey, y'all could get off my, you know? <clears throat> you have to take out like a flood Ryan, insurance policy Ryan, for Ryan got tatted up over the last year and some change. Oh, Garcia, yeah. Yeah, he has. That 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 trash talking is hilarious. He's like, game old, game boy. But you game see how boy? respectful they were at the press conference and at the weigh-in. Nah, the weigh-in is where it popped off. No, that was the uh, workout. They were super respectful at the weigh-in, shook hands and everything. Mm. Oh, nice right hand lands by Tony Harrison as I am at the two minute and thirty two second mark of round number five. Over on this round time. already, this shit flying. <laughs> Of course, the zone is playing a promo, and they still got to do their whole little, little build shit. up. Yeah, before the main event kicks off, they got to sell you, Ryan. They're just doing their job. Is it me or did did that disconnect? No, I hear it. Do you? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay. I but Tony I Harrison, the Tony Harrison has had a lot of success keeping Sergio that Garcia off. Cookie kicking off. in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, another straight beautiful jab, jab by Harrison. And Harrison being able to stay just oh, uh, far, far enough away to avoid Sergio Garcia's punches, man. Garcia definitely respectful at times, right? Like he looks weary, and then all of a sudden jumps in. Yeah, no, we saw that a lot, especially in the first two rounds. But I oh, think good jab again by round Harrison. Round three, uh, Harrison figured out it was a jab that would keep Garcia off of him, and it's been working. Especially jabbing the levels, jabbing yeah. the levels, switching, switching his height, switching. It. Oh, oh, straight beautiful right. one two right there by Tony Harrison, rocks Garcia. Tony Harrison looking sharp, man. Yeah, man, countering the fuck out of Garcia right now. Oh my, and his move, his movement. It's honestly impressing, to be honest with you. Well, he was always slick, man. You know, when he was with Emmanuel Stewart, he was a puncher. That's the thing. He came out the bat, bro. They was doing numbers in, like, Detroit. Oh, beautiful jab there. And another one. Oh, nice left, left hook. hook. And another jab. Dang, Garcia tight right now. He's like, yo, why I can't touch this dude? Garcia definitely. Look at Tony's movement, man. Sergio Garcia eating a lot of shots right now. So for everybody in chat saying that we're behind, no, there's actually a delay from the time that you guys say the time to when they see it. So we um, should be live. It's just the time that they see it. It's, right. it's about you know exactly. anywhere from thirty seconds to a minute. Damn, behind. a minute behind, pop. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, like so, that. sometimes YouTube is is that bad. Uh. Oh wow. Oh, wow. And if you are following us on Twitter, we've got a couple of people because we uh, tweeted out how they judge the uh, Mosley-Rosado fight. And let's see. It's Zeke said, 
They gave it majority decision? Yeah. The fuck are these judges on tonight? First, the judges had Esparza winning every single round. Then they don't give Mosley the UD? I must be drunk. Yep, yep. Then we also had KO Combat said blowout. We got Sosa Smith with the cash app that says Harrison beats all the 154 pounders if he doesn't run out of gas. That's so not true, but like true. You know, like I would be with you on that bus if he did have that good stamina, but he running out. Um, beat Charlo both until run out of gas. So he's saying he doubled back with another super chat saying that he beat Charlo until he ran out of gas in both fights. And he came back with another one. He said, y'all 30 seconds behind on Showtime iPad Apple. I guess he wants you to use the app. Well, I think Austin explained, uh, you know, the situation. Yeah, Austin so, uh, definitely let them know that we on, are a few seconds behind due on, to being in studio. On Showtime, we are officially now in the second half of the fight. Round number six underway. We I am at the two minute and forty second mark of round six. Austin, can we lower this one until they get in the ring at least? You, you know? could yeah, you could mute the, the zone. You don't need yeah, that. Yeah. Actually, yeah, let me see if I can fucking You think Canelo's Canelo, How's that? Canelo's there? What do you mean there? At the Ryan fight? Why? How oh. was that? Is that boys. muted for you They're guys? Not even partners. He said, used to be my homie, used to be my ace. Now I want to slap the taste out your mouth. You don't know about that. He was too young. Over on Showtime, two minutes left. Tony Harrison looking sharp on Steve Farhood's unofficial Bro, the Showtime app card. not working for me. Four out of the first five rounds have been given to Tony Harrison on his unofficial scorecard. So Harrison seems to have figured out Sergio Garcia being able to move and throw that jab, being able to counter beautifully and avoid a lot of his punches, it's been working so far, Ness. Uh, the Showtime app isn't working for me. That's unfortunate, champ. Mm. Oof. They're showing the instant replays of uh, Gennady beating the brakes off Maradas. This morning, indeed. Look at the mouth, please. That shit was just like ejection. Mm. Yeah, Murata was hurt for sure. He was getting touched. Touchy, touch, touch. Ooh. He, he lucky. Uh, Gennady. He don't do none of that to, to, to Canelo, though. Oh, absolutely. Canelo knocks his why, ass out. Why he don't be doing that to Canelo, though? Why he picking on Murata like that? We know Murata was the middleweight champ, and uh, Triple G wanted to unify. Murata, Murata, Toyota Corolla. I wonder if I got to close the DAZN app, and that's why. Oh, look at this guy. He's got, like, Gucci pants on. I don't look need a guy. G on my chest. Are you going to get those next nests? I do like those, but they look like I can't afford them. Yeah. About eight, nine hundred. What? Yeah. What? What? Pro what? Probably a little bit more, honestly. Hell probably, yeah, probably they like more. Hell yeah, they more. Fucking bag costs, like, a couple thousand. How the fuck is the jeans going to be that cheap? Depends what you buy. Mm. Depends Bring what walk you Danny. Doing. Fashion walk Danny know it all. Nah. He got all the hookups. I think I got to close the DAZN app in order to open the motherfucking app. Showtime? Let me see. Well, we got Showtime right here, so we're good. That's crazy. I, I literally closed the app, and it's still working over there. It's the whole idea behind it, champ. But it's closed. I know, I know, I hear you. It's like closed. I like closed it. You know the word closed? Oh, like you... Like I closed it. Oh, you swiped it up. I swiped it up. But it's oh, still... Wow. It's still rocking out. Like like we like... What's up? Shit, retarded. That's interesting. Look, now it's like... They both did. This is just crazy. That's actually cool, don't you think? No. You don't want to be able to watch both fights at the same time? It's not both. It's the same. It was on the... F <laughs> You're funny. Oh, I thought that was Showtime. Stop casting. Oh, and you would expect Canelo. Oh, uh, Let's right. see now. L Luke, this guy. So loud. What's going on over there? You're not oh, even telling no, us, man. The fight right here, Tony Harris. Uh, 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 uh. It was the end of the round. Mm -hmm. Round number seven is now underway. Okay. 
Two minute like fifty five second mark. Let me see if I seven. take it off a of Wi Fi. Garcia it? coming forward and, Probably and Wi-Fi, Tony Harrison bro. circling around. That notorious sticky kitten. Wacky paws. Remember that. Wha- is that is that what we're calling it now? Wacky <laughs> paws. Wha- wacky kitten paws. That's what it was. It was kitten paws, not sticky kitten. My bad. I apologize. <laughs> wacky paws. Sticky kittens. Nah, it was kitten paws, man. Kitten paws, man. Look, it's not working. Fuck, is it the app? What's going on it, seem, it seems like Sergio Garcia has been told in the corner that he's down because he is coming forward and he is coming forward with mean intention, but he's missing so much against Tony, and Tony able to be, you know, counter a lot of that, go to the body of Garcia, um, you know, just move around. Beautiful right hand there by Harrison. Misses an uppercut. You think this is a uh, like winner go home type of fight for Tony Harrison? S? Hell yeah! So you don't think he gets an, another decent fight after this? As a as it, a B side, as a B side for sure. Well, he's a B side in this. One. Well, like he's the underdog in this one, right? Or there was? You go, there you go. Even though he's been looking absolutely great, man. Sergio Garcia right there just threw a three punch combination and missed. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Tony Harrison just being able to avoid a lot of those punches. Looking extremely sharp. Disconnected down the right uppercut. Showtime app is Ooh, just not Garcia working. Garcia answers, though, with a nice right hand of his own. Wow. And another wow. one right hand by Garcia. Not enough to uh, hurt or, or, you know, do anything to Tony Harrison, but did connect. Misses there with the right, though. Tony Harrison starts to circle. First to the left, then to the right. He's like, I just got to stay out of the way of Sergio Garcia. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, my man's in them over here wilding. 40 seconds left in round number seven. Tony Harrison with the right hand connecting. Ooh, double left hook for Harrison. Connects. Tony Weeks interjecting to separate the both men as they were in a clinch. Should have given me so many issues. Ryan Garcia's fight should be uh, kicking off here momentarily. Yeah, he's still in the locker room, but I cannot. Uh, my Chrome, the Chromecast option disappears. Just, I'm gonna have to reset the fucking phone. Oh wait, maybe it's because I disconnected the Wi-Fi. Hold up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you got to have it turned on for that, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure you're right. What do you think? So right now, Showtime is showing the corner of Sergio Garcia. Um, As we do not have audio, I cannot tell you what he is being told. Mm. But um, it's not like you would know because Felix de Jesus is the one interpreting. I don't need his interpretation. I can come up with mine of my own. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I'm fluent in Spanish. Tony Harrison is indeed teeing off. So yeah, the Smith. app is trash. They saying go go to the desktop. The app is trash. No, it says I hear ready you. To cast now. No, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm oh, still, you saying in the chat? Yeah, I'm, they talking about the Showtime app is trash. So, but I'm I'm back to the the zone. Forget it. I'm gonna just wait. Even though Ryan's still in his fucking room. Round number eight underway on Showtime. Two minute fifty seconds left. How's Farhood got it, Danny? Farhood has given every round to Tony Harrison. Oh wow! With the exception of round two, he gave to Sergio Garcia. I hope this ain't a Mickey Bay spot. Remember, Mickey Bay was beating the brakes off of John John Molina, and then boop, tenth mm. round, it was over. Look who's there, guys. That's the trainer of George Cambosis. That's Javier Centennial. And that, and that guy boxing. right there is Game Boy. Emmanuel to go. Why you was about to say Augustus? <laughs> I wasn't going to say Augustus. Emmanuel. If 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 I no do... Oh, nice right hand there by Tony Harrison. If I no do Junk Master in fifth round, you ca- I come back and you shoot me. 
No, you shit me. He said, you called me out. No, fuck out of here. He didn't he say you, shit. Yeah, he did. I oh remember him God. saying, but like, Danny you, you talked to me shit. You the almanac when it comes to sports, not remembering shit on the show, bro. For real. Apparently. <laughs> My man okay. said, yo, I go by and you shit me. You shit me. I'm like, what? I don't want to shit oh, on you. Oh, yeah, he did say that. I'm like, yo, I don't want to shit on you. Over on ESPN, Michaela Mayer is in the ring. In the That's ring. That's crazy. Why boxing does this to us? Look at all these Her, main events we missed. Jennifer Hand receiving their final instruction, center of the ring alongside their trainer. Um, being sent back to the corner. Camera crew's coming out. It'll just be the three individuals in the ring Michaela Mayer, Jennifer Hahn, and the referee. Hahn looks young. Go back to showtime. Minute left in round number eight. And Tony Harrison here. He said, you shame me. Fuck out of here. He, <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Ah, yes. y'all wish he said that. He clearly no. is day said, you shame me. You shit me. No, he, he did clarify himself. He said shame. Man, That's you crazy. Sergio Garcia here with a lot of pressure on Tony Harrison. Hey, he got to. He got but two rounds left. He better do it now. Not much success so far. Tony Harrison has turned it down just a bit. We are eight rounds in, though. That's the kind of the normal for him, man. This is when he should have shown us he could turn it up. So I guess we'll see in rounds nine and Damn, ten. Damn, Golden Boy choosing to use ring card girls with dresses. I actually like the whole dresses. And they, and you can tell those are not like dresses. They're like tank top dresses. Do you want the DAZN audio back? The, 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 the sun dresses. Yeah. Nah, there ain't no sun dress. What the fuck? That's fitted in the motherfucker. Yeah, sun dresses are fitted. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Why the fuck are you guys arguing over fashion? Because he think he's a fucking kind of show. So Showtime somehow. has... Game Boy walking out. Forget Showtime. Uh, nah, I'm joking. Michaela <laughs> Mayer, Jennifer Hahn, underway... 45 seconds left in round one. We should be probably watching that fight. There's probably going to be more punches thrown in that fight. Michaela lets them hands go. You should take the captions. Yo, off. but I thought you said you don't like fights that people just use their face as defense. You should take the captions off. Good, good faint. You seen that foot faint? What is Game Boy doing? Give me the audio. Let me get the audio. Oh, my God. What's up with my man Game? Okay. Oh, what's the song? Come on. What is he dancing to? A very, uh, you know, fill out round here for Jennifer Hahn and Michaela Mayer. Michaela Mayer with a nice left hook. Jennifer Hahn pulls her down. Round number one is over for Michaela Mayer, Jennifer Hahn on ESPN. No. Round number nine is underway, though, on Showtime. Two minute, 47 seconds left in round number nine. Tony Harrison, you know, continues to have success. Keeping Sergio Garcia at distance as we see Emmanuel to go on the zone, dancing his way is to he the ring. Drunken master already. Like, he over he... there feeling himself. He looking good. He looking fly. He uh oh he oh, doing a chicken wing. Hey, he hitting that shit. He look doing at a him. chicken wing. And oh shit. look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Okay, he feeling himself. Obviously the biggest fight of his career. What this he is, needs this is, is a big stage music. for him. So, obviously, good to see for Emmanuel to go enjoying himself, making his way to oh, the Oh, that's ring. Xander back there supporting. Yeah, they're stable mates, on, of course. On the zone. Xander from top rank, on the zone. That's a stable mate. That's his man's in them. That's his trainer. And I'm, I'm sure with the experience of to go, at his weight, Xander has gotten some rep. Hell Excuse yeah. me, some rounds with him, right? Hell yeah, we got to see what to go got, man. But minute 30 left over on Showtime, round number nine. It's been a bit of the same for the majority of the fight. Although Sergio Garcia has attempted to turn it up in the last round or two, he's been unsuccessful in doing so. The The activity is there, but the, the punch is landing, you know, that's not there. And at this point in the fight, he needs a knockout against Tony Harrison. Looks like Ryan's coming out, making his official walk to the ring. Michaela Mayer and Jennifer Hahn in round two. A minute ten left in, in, in that round. Um, 
it seems like Michaela Mayer is having success landing that left hook as I see her do so again. Her favorite move. And another one. Jab lands there for Mayer. Switch Yo, back they making over. such long ring walks, bruh. <laughs> no, they got to make the locker room to the, you know. Yo. It's a, it's a process. Wow. But we head back over to Showtime. 30 seconds I left think fight in finishes. round number nine. What's the over-under that the Harrison fight finishes before Ryan throws his first punch? I'm sure that's not a prop, but... <laughs> Uh, I, I think that we should just do it ourselves. I'll give you all any action you want. The, what fight ends before Ryan throws a punch? That fight. This one? That one. Of course. <laughs> I could have told you that. Yo, that oh yeah, yeah, it's down to four seconds now. <laughs> Come on, bro. No, but round you got another number nine. Round. Yeah, that's great. Round number nine is over on Showtime. Tony Harrison and... Yo, uh, Trav needs Garcia, to take uh, and, and on ESPN, round two the, is you over. Killed the, you killed my for Michaela May and Jennifer Hahn. Killed my whole joke, bro. If you would have let me slide in in time, I could have said mm. Trav needed to take like nah, lessons bro, from those cameramen. You, you need to take because lessons they had the, and stop cutting they had people the announcer off. and just like four titties going across the <laughs> announcer's face. They cut the girl's face off. Everything else. It was just the announcer's face and four titties on. It's fucking hilarious. So is it like, are you counting two per person? Or is it like one person is the one, you know? One person's a pair, obviously. Okay. It was two sets on one yeah, set but, on each side. Yeah. Okay. Fuck you think this is? Total recall? <laughs> 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 he think he fucking Arnold right now. But we go back. He don't even to know. He never seen Arnold Showtime. version. He's the Colin Farrell Tony bro. Harrison, Colin Farrell Sergio version. Garcia both touch gloves. 10th uh, and final round for the Showtime co-main event. And on top rank in ESPN, round three is underway for Michaela Mayer, Jennifer Hahn. Time stamp on that one for round three is two minutes and i'm sorry one minute and 48 seconds round number three mckella be we, letting hands go bro we saw um the total punch that there on the screen for espn michaela mayer outlanding Oof, good right hand by Han, and more precisely uh by 11 percent. so just something to point out there tony harrison and sergio garcia found themselves once again in a clinch Two minutes and 10 seconds left. Tenth and final round of that co-main event. Uh, seems like Tony Harrison just trying to stay away. Just close out Yo, the Yo, why fight. he coming out with the mean look? <laughs> His lip quivering and shit. What is wrong with your man's? He looks scared, yo. What? He looked mean. He trying to come out with his I mean look. No, ain't hey, coming out to your man Lupe. You gotta yeah. represent. He's Mexican American, and he walking out the Lupe. Yo, come on, man. You as a Chicago guy, you gotta love. No, him. that's cool. Lupe, cool. I fucks with Lupe and I'm and, and he Mexican American, so it's like you gotta, you gotta rock with him. You. Nah, but yeah, Lupe, that's my man's in them. But what about but Ryan? Showtime, minute twenty five left from round it's number ten. <laughs> Tony Harrison has all but won the fight. Um. He just needs to close. But Michaela Mayer has done all but as her fight is still getting kicked off. 20 seconds left in round number three. Jennifer Hahn trying to see what it she is. She's using that a whole ring. She goes to the left, goes to the right, and to the right some more. But her face clearly marked up already. Only three rounds How in. How many knockouts uh, Michaela got? I think it's only like four. <laughs> yeah. She got just she just got but counted. round number three comes to an end on ESPN for their main event, and we are at the forty five second mark, tenth and final round for the Tony Harrison Sergio Garcia co main event. So a lot of boxing tonight going on, man. I'm, Hell you know yeah. we're trying to give it to you guys all. It's definitely um, not the easiest, but we're definitely trying. Only twenty five seconds left. In round 10, you know, round three did end for Michaela Mayer and Jennifer Hahn. Only 15 seconds left in round 10 for Tony Harrison and Sergio Garcia. Of course, a lot of Damn, punches being exchanged. Game Sergio Garcia knows he needs that. Game I agree Boy with that camera look. angle, Ness. What camera? The, the DAZN one. Yeah. yeah the announcer. 
<laughs> Yo, Game Boy got a motherfucking uh, drop top. The Showtime co-main event, Tony Harrison, Sergio Garcia, has now come to an end. Tony Harrison with his hand up at the end of the fight. I think we need... Uh, Safe to say he won. His mother, we see his mother very emotional, ringside crying. Um, just expecting, or uh, I'm sorry, um, awaiting the official announcement on Showtime. As the official uh, ring announcer... Is calling the main event on the zone. They're saying Sergio nose is broke. Very well could be. I mean, Tony Harrison was landing that jab quite a bit, Ness. Harrison broke Garcia's nose in six. Is Harrison the one that got the ducks thrown at him the other day at the conference? He is, yes. He is. Um, Official show stats. Tony Harrison, 197 of 491. While Sergio Garcia, 103 of 592. So Sergio Garcia um, throwing over 100 punches more, but landing almost 100 punches less. So um, just something to point out there. I agree with Sosa Smith, who says Harrison 9-1. It shouldn't be no more than 8-2. We do see the Showtime replay on um, the co-main event there. And we have Michaela Mayer, Jennifer Hahn on ESPN, of course. 45-second mark on that fight. Michaela Mayer coming for a bit of everything. Right hand to the body. Right hand up top for Mayer. Hahn landing a right hand of her own, though, to the face of Mayer. And they're in a clinch. Michaela oh, out of it. Beautiful shit. right hand lands. And another oh left hook God. by Michaela Mayer. Michaela's she is such a dog. bloodying the face of Jennifer oh Hahn. Oh, my God. It's Hahn everywhere. It's everywhere. It's like the plague. Where, Jennifer wh- Hahn. Why Hahn got that many flags on her shit? Where's she from? Oh, it's America and South Korea, Ness. Where, so where's she from? America and South Korea, Ness. <laughs> So where she's from, though? America and South Korea, Ness. No, but where she resides? In her house. America <laughs> and South Korea, Ness. Okay. Round number four. So there's an a- America in South Korea, or is there South Korea in America? There's consulates. Yeah, huh. yeah, she lives in both at the same time. She lives right on the border. Is she in the embassy? Or is she it a house? in the embassy. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, yeah, got yo, you. Yo, I'm man. tripping off to go's uh, shorts right now. How is that not copyright? What he got? He got Game Boy right across the front, and it I mean, looks the like the, it looks like the Nintendo font too. Let me see. All right, we're in the first round of Ryan Garcia versus Emmanuel to go, and to go immediately on the back foot, and and Ryan looking to get a knockout coming right out to go, just laughing at him. Good jab to the body by to go. Very noticeable height difference as they are in the ring. They're saying to win. Nice, to- nice, swift, snappy jab and good feet by to go. But he's going to have to have great stamina to do this for 12 rounds because Ryan looks like a giant. Oh, oh, right hand. Good jab to the body. This is how you surprise these guys, these A-sides. Fundamentals. And to go's doing that. I just want to uh, let it be known, Tony Harrison d- was announced the official victor in his co-main Harrison fight. versus Zoo, what you think? Ooh, that's a good fight, but man. But he ain't got the power to stay off of Zoo. Like, for Zoo not to, you know, Zoo walks him down and, and, and tries to body him. Oh, you know, he's got to ha- he's got to do everything he did today and more not to get hit by Zoo and Harrison, get knocked out. Ha- Harrison looks sharp with that jab tonight, Ness, let me tell you. No, no, no. He but- had the... Oh, beautiful right hand lands by Michaela Mayer. I'm sorry. Game Boy looking fairly decent here. I like that he doubles and triples the jab, but his height disadvantage, you know, has a lot of those jabs landing at nothing. Uh Uh-oh, Ryan trying to one shot to the body with the right. Minute 20 left in round number one. If you are joining us on the zone for the Ryan Garcia Uh manual to go fight. And you got Ryan just doing a lot of mental pressure. He's just walking to go. Like, to go is moving so much. He can't keep this up. Like, and this is just the first round. His stamina can't be that good to do this every round. Like, that's a lot of moving he's doing. 
It is. Meanwhile, look, Ryan is able to cut the distance without a jab. He doesn't even have his fucking hands up. Now, no. now don't get me wrong. This this could be all a trap. And and that's how he hits him with an overhand right, which he tried already in the very beginning of the round. And I mean he me being Emmanuel to go. Cause you know, Ryan Ryan gets confident. Oh, I gotta just walk him down. This guy's not doing nothing. And then all of a sudden, overhand loopy right. Knocks on that door. Ryan <laughs> with the right hand nice, to the body. Yes, very nice. 20 seconds left, round number one. Oh, right hand lands for Ryan. And to go, holding on. Whoa. The ref did tell him stop. Ryan did throw another punch. Naughty, naughty. Ryan looking for that Round knockout. number one on the zone. Ryan Garcia, Emmanuel to go, has concluded. Tony Harrison doing an in-ring interview. Wait, wait, how he get a what belt he wearing? That is the WBC. Um, I don't know, probably probably the silver, given that Lubin and Fedora fighting for the interim. Damn, my man get a silver shot. But over on ESPNs, Michaela Mayer, Jennifer Hahn, main event. Halfway through the fight, round number six underway. Michaela Mayer outlanding Jennifer Hahn by all by almost three times as much. Um, Jennifer Hahn's face right now looks clean, but uh, Michaela, man, she just and round hands five, go. it was extremely bloody. Michaela shooting that jab to the body, shooting upstairs, and the stream of blood comes back down the nose of Jennifer Hahn. As Michaela Mayer Round lands two a beautiful starts now. right hand. Round two starts now for Garcia to go. And Jesus, Ryan looks huge. Ryan does look significantly bigger than Mr. Togo. He hasn't really been able to land anything. No, good double jab. Or I think it was a triple actually from Togo. He said the speed overwhelming taker. What speed and aggression? I mean, aggression, yes, but like, has Ryan landed? He did land one, which is when to go started to move around in round one. Are, uh, are you surprised by, by what you've seen in the Dazone main event so far, Ness? Or what are your thoughts so far? Uh, I like what Ryan's doing. He's basically being patient. You know, a lot of mental pressure on to go. So he's the one that's going to get tired because look all the moving he has to do just to accommodate to Ryan taking a step forward. Problem is with that, Ryan pulls back with his head straight out or up. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting for to go to kind of loop a right hand. George Cambosa style, same trainer, you know. They both be were uh, counted out under dogs, so you know you get just sneak knockdown. Oh. oh, good right hand by Ryan. Oh wow, to go, just took. Oh, a he turned his back, back right ahead. there. He wilding. And to go goes down. Uh oh. To go goes down in round two. Look at him. He's mad. He is mad. He's, yeah, he's trying insane. to act like he got pushed. Minute left in round two if you're joining us on the zone. Ryan Garcia, manual to go. Ryan's coming forward. Throws the right hand. Ryan to trying to get this jab. shit done before six. To go in survival mode. I don't know why he's moving. And he tried to go for a takedown there. Yeah. He heard he heard that interview you guys had with to go. He said, I'm not going to let him get drunk and master on this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice jab there by to go. Round number seven kicks off on ESPN. Michaela Mayer, Jennifer Hahn. Michaela Mayer has connected over 35% of her total punches. Yo, Ryan is crazy inaccurate, though. Like, he or just jumps in. He just jumps in with no caution. Wow. 
Wow, and that Emmanuel is kind of wild. Made it to see the end of round number Crazy. two after going down earlier in the round. That ref is wilding. Like Garcia is hitting to go in the back of the head, and then to go hits him back, and then the ref is just like, "Hey, chill." Right. You gotta, exactly. you gotta warn no, the B right. side, never yeah. the A side. Warn the B side, never the A side. Thank you. Mm -hmm. For those of you waiting for the Lubin Fundora, we're still waiting on Showtime. We're still waiting, but we have Ryan Garcia and Manuel to go on the zone, about to go in into round number three, and. For on ESPN, we have Michaela Mayer and Jennifer Hahn. 50 seconds left in round number seven. Michaela Mayer having Was a lot of a punch? success. Where's the punch? It's right there. A lot of success and making sure to bloody up Jennifer Hahn. Uh, he, he, I mean, it was it was a punch thrown. I don't know why to go trying to act like it was something less. Was definitely not no fucking push. <clears throat> the only thing I can think of is that the ref <laughs> did push him a little bit because he just got in the way. So maybe Emmanuel thought it was Ryan. Round three is underway, though, over on the zone. Two minute, 45 seconds left. Ryan Garcia did get the knockdown in round two, Ness. Yeah, you he saw did. the replay now. What'd you think of it? Uh, he, he threw a punch, man, and it definitely landed on the guard to go. Um, I'm just waiting to see his to go gonna adjust. He's got to do more. Like he's he's all, you know, he's putting himself at a disadvantage by fighting on the back foot. He's the shorter man, so a lot of these shots don't land. Like, and you got to commit in order to land a shot as the smaller man on the bigger man. You got to go in there into the fire, and he's actually backing away from it. So I, I don't see how he plans to win. And he's making it too easy for Garcia, right? Like, Garcia's not even having to throw punches to cut the distance. While he's not closing the distance, or rather, closing the ring off, you know, he is cutting the distance easy. But you see, Togo's able to bounce out of every fucking corner. None of this generation knows how to close the distance. Look, he just walks from corner to corner, right? Right? There you go. That's how you close the distance. You throw a right hand, but right there, he had to throw another right and, Don't let him and out. And Togo has been moving to his left the entire fight, moving right into Ryan's right hand this whole fight. Yeah. And I've been waiting for Ryan to throw it, but he hasn't done it nah, enough. Nah, he's very inaccurate. He's very uh, inaccurate, man. He's, uh, oh, right hand. But you see, he's, oh. he, he's just like winging shots. He wants this knockout bad. We are in the eighth round over on ESPN. Michaela Mayer, Jennifer Hahn. Minute 35 left in that one. That that cookie got me yawning more than a motherfucker. Man, oh, oh, I'm tired. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, it's got you yawning? I'm tired as hell, too. Like, <laughs> oh, But I ain't seen you yawn. My eyes watering. I'm yawning. Nah, I'm like, bro, damn. My eyes feel heavy as hell right now. I thought I was about to fall asleep on this bitch. Especially a this fucking cat mouse fight. A bit more here in round three over on the zone. Emmanuel to go still moving to his left, still moving around the ring. Still not being having the ring cut off. Ryan is like just letting him out. Look, there he goes. I'm out. I'm wild, out. Wild left uppercut there by Ryan misses. Again, I'm out again. And he's leaving out the door that leads to Ryan's right hand. That's what I'm saying, bro. He's <laughs> been moving to his left the entire fight. And still able to get out. He's been moving to his left the whole fight. Look, right there, moving to his left. Ryan's Crazy. supposed to be shooting that right hand. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Crazy. Fucking my man's talking about nowhere to hide. What are you talking about, bro? Who got nowhere to hide? That's what they're saying on the zone con con uh, commentary. Ryan, can you give me a Red Bull? I'm, I, I, need, I don't know what's going on 15 here. seconds left. ESPN, Fucking round eight. Tired. Michaela Mayer still coming forward. But same thing. Jennifer Hahn able to move herself. Face is bloody, but she's, she's surviving. Trying to throw something off. Trying to keep Michaela off of her. <laughs> Yo, Goosen's jacket look crazy. Though. And round eight comes to an end on ESPN. Championship rounds are next for the ladies' main event. Michaela Mayer and Jennifer Hahn. Damn, that's the women's pound for pound? For ESPN. And let me tell you, theirs actually makes some sense a little bit. 
Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I, I I only don't know number 10. That's the only person I don't know. You and I both, buddy. You and I both. But round number four is underway on the zone. Thank you. Let's see if this does the freaking trick. I'm over here like, yo, like, I, I'm actually tired as if these fights aren't good. Oh, I keep having Austin adjust. I'm sorry, Austin. I, it's it's the laziness. I'm all over the place. I'm slouching. You're good, my man. That's why I'm here. I'm slouching. I'm standing back up. It's like it's hard right now. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I guess it was too much of uh, too much for the body to do the last night and the morning show. But I actually took a nap. Oh, I you went, took a nap? Yeah, I went, home, I went to the gym. Worked out, went back home, ate breakfast, showered, took a nap. I don't know how this is happening. Tego looking like he in a girl fight right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, the way he's throwing punches. That what you mean? Like a non-professional boxing fight, a woman's fight, that's what he looks mm. like. So we see the punches landed through round three, only four for to go. To 33 landed by Ryan Garcia. It's a 30% difference there. 45 for Ryan, 15, 4 to go. It's unfortunate. Yo, they said, <laughs> they said Goosen's hair dye is autumn sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, whoever said that, that shit was funny. That shit was dope. <laughs> Yo. Emmanuel to go, still, you know, moving to his left, you know, to Ryan's right there. He's got a fucking amazing jab, but he's not committing enough. It's just like a get off me jab. He's not, he doesn't land. He just throws it so that you can know it's coming and you got to move. Ness, do you really think we might make Ryan, it? Ryan, what you round making? Five? Just round energy five. drink. <clears throat> energy? Oh, right hand there lands. Vitamin C. What you got in there? Yeah, cherry? It's got, it's got blackberry. Oh. Yeah. A little THC added to it. Oh, okay. Luke, these guy. Oh, yeah. 50 seconds left. Round number four on the zone. Ryan Garcia Manuel to go. To go did go down in round two. So he is playing catch up on the uh on the scorecard there. Yo, you think he's still gonna do the drunken monk uh drunken he master? Better. I hope so, man. That'd be dope, right? Okay, this this trainer gonna kick him in the you head. You think, man? He don't remember that shit. <laughs> Ryan leads off a three punch. Yo, combination look at his eyes misses. when Ryan throw punches. Look at look at the goes eyes. Yeah, wide. Hell yeah, they get wide. Yo, they in there street fighting. Ryan wants a knockout so bad. So bad. Round number nine ends on ESPN. Mayor Han, tenth and final round up next. Oh, and Mayor still, Han, what what city is that? Mayor Han, Michaela I know Mayor. what city is Mayor Han oh, working? Oh, uh, Costa Mesa, California. Mm. Damn to go, yo! You think they gonna tell him right now? Like, yeah, it's Tom. <laughs> remember it's what you, Tom. Remember what you said to Ness on the boxing board? Nah, not even that. Like, yo, it's Tom. Tri do the drunken master now. Over on Showtime. The towering infer inferno, Sebastian Fundora is Wow, now he's in, in the, the ring? ring. Oh my God, we're gonna have to leave Ryan's fight. And this is crazy. Erickson Lubin is now being announced, and he'll be making his way to the ring. Jaguar Paw said, "I bet he don't do the <laughs> drinky master." <laughs> Tenth and final round, now underway on ESPN for Mayor Han. So. Mayor is the only one coasting, man. She's had an easy time tonight. She has had an easy time tonight. Erickson Lubin over on Showtime making his way to the ring. And being, Ryan Garcia. Being escorted to the ring by Shakur Stevenson. And Ryan and to go in the ring now to go in the fifth round. This is the, 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 the infamous round where he is supposed to do the drunken master. We shall see. We shall see. He looks more alert than drunk. It would be cool if right now they start talking about like, well, on the boxing voice, he said. <laughs> on the boxing voice, he said he would choose this round to implement the style of Emmanuel Augustus, the drunken master. But it looks like the Game Boy decided not to play games with this boy in King Rai. Yo, look at the way Garcia's posture, bro. He's just like, I want this knockout. Give me my knockout. 
two minute, five second mark here in round number five on the zone. Legit. Your man's has done nothing but double jab. Okay. Oh, as soon as I said something, throws a right hand, it lands like on the bicep. He's so short. Man, I want to see this drunken master. I'm not going to lie he to you. He's not doing it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, he's I, done. He's not even thinking about that. Hell you better no. bring him on here Monday morning. Bring him on here. Yeah, it's time for retribution, man. I, he said. I, I want oh, to. You're right. You're right. We will bring him back. You're absolutely right. Damn, we got five more rounds. Seven more rounds. Or yeah, yeah seven. seven more yeah, rounds. Shit. Frick, we're gonna have to switch, bro. Over on ESPN. Cause that's an eliminator with two recognizable names. Game Boy made a name for himself off our interview and he didn't even live up to it. <laughs> Let me get that HDMI. Run that HDMI, Austin. But wait, oh, you got it open on Chrome. You should be able to Chromecast at the bottom or somewhere. Right there. Not yet, though. Wait, wait. When you're ready to switch, you click that and then hit the. Okay, okay. For so, sure, for so. Sure. You're going to have to pull up. You're going to have to pull up this on your laptop, though, too. It's okay, uh, For audio? Ness, I need my steps, anyways. It's all good. No, for. for oh, what? damn. For yeah, what? we want. For audio? Have, yeah, I wouldn't have audio. I got, I got Showtime, too. Okay. It's probably going to work on the desk side. I was just trying to do it from my desk, from my. um. From my blah, 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 blah. from your phone. From my phone. I believe it's long as it's on uh -oh, this TV. Uh -oh, we should get it. Ryan, he, Ryan heard our interview. He's like, "You want to do Drunken Master? I'm gonna knock you out in the fifth. But even though it's 20 seconds left, he ain't gonna get it done. No, and you know his. Punches. Damn, Ryan said I ain't wearing no more Canelo gloves. Hmm. Well, on ESPN... Uh-oh, Tego beat the odds. He was supposed to get knocked out. Oh, Tego. Why they calling him Tego? I thought it was Tego. It's Game Boy. Can I get an order of uh, Drunken Master in round five to go, please? <laughs> he didn't give it to you. <laughs> he didn't give it to you, champion. <laughs> so now you're supposed to, as he says, what? Bandaleros, aunque digan que soy un bandalero donde estoy. Le doy gracias a Dios por estar donde estoy. Un hombrecito que tumba. He just made his own words. That's right. That's how you sing in my house. Yo, y voy a seguir con mi tumbao. Yeah, what he said. Con lo gato activado. Yeah, well, he said double Ustedes for me. No me lo han dado. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out, Ness. Yo, what's up, man? It's my King Amin of Essex knows what's up. They go Calderon. The towering. Oh, that was me, Austin. Don't worry. But uh, it's funny because, look, it's playing the audio, but I'm not getting a picture. Fucking showtime. Uh. Oh, my God. We are in round number six here on the zone. Two minutes and 30. Five second mark. Round number six. We are awaiting the official announcement on ESPN for Mayor Han. And Showtime is doing their ring announcement for the main event. Erickson Lubin, Sebastian Fundora. We got a super chat. Ryan from Austin. I mean from Alex Corona. He says, He's I'm at the fights, and he did not do the drunken master. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, bro. He's got an entire audience, you Waiting. know, a demographic mad now. Yeah, they, they were expecting bro. it. No, he's a fraud. He's going to be considered a fraud. I, I don't mean it in any any malice, but, like, that's what people are going to be like. Like, yo, you know, he said he was going to do something. He didn't live up to it. Yo, you know what? You know who drunk? Uh, who I almost called him drunken master. Oh my goodness! <laughs> who to go reminds me of? Who? Brandon oh. Brandon Adams a little bit. Hell no! Like with he, how awkward he bruh, is. Bro, he looks totally like fucking Joshua Clotty. Pull up a picture of Joshua. No, Clotty. not not that he looks like him. I'm saying like seeing him in the Matter fight. Matter of fact, is it Edna Cherry? I think it's probably Edna Cherry. More Edna Cherry than Joshua Clotty. Cherry bomb. Round number one underway on Showtime. Erickson Lubin, Sebastian Fundora.
official announcement mm. on ESPN. What happened? Michaela Mayer unanimous decision. 17 and 0 now with 5 KOs. So that is it on ESPN for top rank. Shit so ass, bro. Come on. So we got two main events on going on. Showtime with Erickson Lubin, Fundora, and then Garcia and Yo, Fundora Tagore. looks so big. So big. Oh. oh man, so Lubin's forced to get on the inside. Has to, man. This is ass. Ten seconds left. Round number six. Garcia to go. Garcia's winning these rounds, but obviously people want to see the exciting knockout ah, that he fuck. has produced. Right when I restarted my computer, Showtime started working. This is some bullshit. Oh man. Minute 30, round number one on Showtime. The big height difference jumps out at you between Lubin and Fondor. It's an eight inch. Back that difference. up a little, bro. I can't even see. That that it's crazy because Fondora doesn't use that height or that reach. But in today's fight, boy, is Lubin. Staying on the outside, giving that reach and height so much more of an advantage. If you stay on the outside, that height and reach works. Hmm. Mm. He working. Yeah, Lubin's trying to figure out his way in, but Fandora. See, I look right there, Fandora. He's the one throwing punches, oh. but on the inside. Lubin landed that straight yeah, left. Yeah, Lubin responding with his own. Round seven underway on the zone. Garcia to go. Two minute, 45 seconds left. Round number seven. Second half of this fight. To go is sponsored by Bet Online. You think he placed one on himself? Uh, I'm to make it to the distance. <laughs> Hopefully he at least bet the over, let me tell you, because he's already made it past that. But on showtime, Lubin moving well, landing. Throwing his jab to the body and being able to move out of the way out of some of Fandora's punches. Got it 1-0 Lubin. That round comes to an end. Two minutes, 10 seconds on the zone. A bit of the same that we've seen throughout the fight. Oh, finally to go lands the left hook. As I say that, right? That's the first punch of the fight he landed. <laughs> no, it's not, Ness. M might be the best. Oh, uh, beautiful right hand I think there we're using too much. by Garcia. Okay, now my shit's working. Finally. Jesus. You was over there stressing us. Bro. Shit. Mm. Garcia Yo, with the Garcia nice trying so hard, but it's 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 not it's not happening for him. To go looking like he's trying to be the next Joshua Cloudy in terms of going. Oh, nice left hand there by to go. Round number two kicks off on Showtime, Lubin Fundora. Yeah. Man, Fundora on the Southpaw style with that height, too. Southpaw versus Southpaw. Lubin better let them hands go right there, man. In that clinch, he should be hitting that body. That was a good stab jab. Garcia unloading his shots over on the zone main event, but not doing much to He got to great go. stamina, man. Yes. I mean, there's not much coming back at him, you know, so he's been able to be a bit conservative, but he throws with a lot of power and in combination, so that takes energy. And, uh, you know, he hasn't showed any signs of slowing down. Man, Fundora just walked Lubin to the ropes, but Lubin pushed him off. But this is an inside debut fight, even in the center of the ring here on Showtime. Good body work by Lubin. And that's what we asked and him in the interview, Lubin, man. Yeah. But, 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 but right comes back Fundora answering big, big shots. 
and the thing the thing is here that typically with this size difference in us, Lubman would be at a at, at an advantage on the inside. I'm not saying he's at a disadvantage, but Fandora is a good inside fighter. And you don't see them long ass shots, bro. They come at you from awkward positions. That's the end of round seven for Garcia oh to my go goodness. also. Double uppercut by Fundora here in Showtime. Mid ring, oh, one minute nice eighteen. Right there. One minute eighteen on a time stand on a time clock for the second round of Showtime. Lubin versus Fundora. This is a little war, boy. It is. Um, Sheesh. Oh, oh Lubin, Lubin with like a six punch combination. Everything landing, but uh, Fundora took that very good. Um, Ryan, shut that fan down or yeah. point it up a little. Oh, you yes, getting cold? Yes. Oh, yeah. I had a, it's a little nippy. What? <laughs> what? I never thought I'd ever hear Danny say it's cold in here. Hell yeah, yeah, bro. I turned the heat on in here the other day. It was too cold. Oh, oh big like left that. hand by Lubin. By Lubin. But, yo, Fandora's taking his shots very well, guys. And uh, we're back oh, in round eight. Oh, Lubin's hurt. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Did Fandora just, like, make a face? Yep. Oh. oh, big left hand by Lubin, though, to answer. You know what? Oh, shit. It's some upper. Oh, oh. shit. Oh. Come on, Lube. Oh. Oh, come on. It's oh. going down over here on Showtime. Yo, Vendora is like digging with. Sh oh! oh, beautiful left hand. Big left hand. By oh, shit. Oh, shit. Down He's down. down. Oh, my God. Fuck. That shit took him straight off his feet. Right after a big ass left handed Lubin landed himself. Oh, my God. Right. Yo, That's Showtime taking over the Ryan Garcia fight. I'm trying to watch it, but it's just the, the excitement doesn't it doesn't eat great. Round number two does come to an end. Wow, that's only round number two. Uh-oh. Lubin had landed a beautiful left hook. As Fandora landed an uppercut. Yo, I wonder what it sounds like in the corner. Remember, we learned that with Bill. Like, don't panic. Do the same shit. You've been beating that dude up over there for all them rounds. Is they panic? I'm not saying you panicked over there, Kev. I'm just I'm asking like what's what's being said. We can, as, we can't listen. Right, as we do not have Showtime audio. Oh, oh shit! And to go land in a to beautiful go right like hand. I thought to go land in a left hook at first mm. to spun him. Let me see the replay of it. Oh wow, you seen that? Yeah, it was that right uppercut. First and he and leaned to the side with it. Like let me lean, bam, and just picked it up. Look. Oof. Mm. Shit. That was a flash knockdown, though. His eyes yeah. was always straight. Round number three underway on Showtime. Fandora coming in with those uppercuts missing them so far, though. Bro, he is putting serious oh. pressure on Lubin right now. Lubin landing a nice left hand. Off the ropes, he's fighting. Yep. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Yo, come on, Lubin. Tie him up. That's right. You got to. Holy smoke. Spider Crab Moore doing his thing. The man. Lubin working that body there. Fandora responded. Oh, got to be careful with them uppercuts. Fandora missing. Oh, good jab to the body by Lubin. But Fandora continues to throw uppercuts, guys. And here on the zone. It's more Ryan. Oh, Lubin landing a beautiful right hand there of his own. Ryan, it's more Ryan wailing on to go trying to get him out. Lubin Ooh. tried the right hook there. Fighting off the ropes with the one two one two. Out that southpaw style. But Fundora just continues to dig and work. He's just so consistent. Not 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 crazy accurate, but Consistent. Oh, oh beautiful Lubin with an hand, uppercut and, and a left right hand. hand. Left oh my right God! But fucking Fedora. Fedora just lands his own uppercut. This, this is a war. Man, oh man, is it? Lubin got to pick that hand up though. Come on, Lou. Oh shit, bro! Oh, he throws so many combination punches. You got to get out. You can't. You can't throw your punch and, and stay it, there. You got to get out. And that's the th the thing about tall guys most of them are taught to 
you know, use their height and reach. Fandora likes to fight on the inside. Yeah. So, so he walking him down, but he's bleeding. Yeah, he is. Beautiful three-punch combination landing. By That's Erickson what he got to do. Punch and move. Don't stand there. Move, t- move, champ. Get out that shit. Can't stand it because this dude just keeps throwing, even though you think you clinch. Oh, beautiful left hand there lands by Erickson Lubin. It does. He needs to get he round needs number a, nine he needs a underway even on the zone. Out. Two minutes fifty seconds. Garcia to go. We are on showtime. Twenty five seconds left. Round number three. Erickson Lubin. Erickson Lubin looking sharp this round, man. To me, this is a Lubin round so far. Good body shot by Lubin with the right hook. Very close Uppercut round, by Fundora. Another uppercut by Fundora with the left hand. Lubin tries his own left hand. Fundora with the right hook. Jesus. Oh, right hook by, by, Lubin. by Lubin. Lubin walking Fundora down, and the round is over. That oh, was- and here on round nine, Ryan just lands the same left hook he landed on Campbell. But this Ooh, time, and, and to go, to go did not go down. down. To go did not go down with that left hook. No, Showing to, dur- durability for sure. Definitely having a lot of durability. Round number three does end on showtime. And we are at a minute and 50 seconds here. Round number nine on the zone. On showtime. Bro, that boy Ryan is straight leaning on to go. Yeah. Oh. oh, man, this replay of Lubin, oof. Yo, Fundora really knows how to place these shots to get you to open up. Right here we see the right hand uh. landing Lubin, and he comes back with the left, and then another right even though they cut it's it It's crazy because at the weigh-in, it looked like maybe Lubin couldn't even reach this mug. <laughs> And, and, and he is hitting him with right hands for sure. That right hook is on point. That's what this is what he got to do. This is the fight he got to fight. Not that. More jabs, more pivots, right hooks, pivot, right hook, pivot, right there, right hook, pivot. Get out the corner, pivot. Not not that man. That shit's crazy, bro. You can't go to war with this dude. Right, th- right Ooh, beautiful there. right hand by Lubin Lance to the body of Fundor. He got to chop that tree down. But that look was at beautiful. Fundor, but Fundor continues to just walk yeah, forward. It's a 12 round fight. He chopping that tree. He got to get out that corner. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, no bueno. Don't be there. Don't, there you go. Clinch up. Tie him up. Good shit, Lube. Tie him we up. got a super chat from the Axiom that says Lubin looks like Kevin Hart, <laughs> even though he spelled. Kevin Hart's name wrong? <laughs> Yo, Lubin missed that right hook. Damn, that shit had talk on it. Yo, and Fundor just keeps working. That that shit got to mentally be so heavy on you, bro. Yo, and not just that, but keep in mind. You want a Red Bull? A lot of the uh, punches Fundor is throwing are missing, but it's the activity. Oh, and- big right hook by Lubin. Beautiful. But it's the activity Good stab of Fandora, and if the 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 right, uh, I'm sorry, the judge is on the wrong yep. side, man. But yeah, Lubin, yeah, yeah, because he he he's he's active and he's the one bringing the pressure, so he's walking him down. They see that. Oh, nice right hand! It there looks by great Lubin. though when Lubin fights off or fights back. Yeah, good jab to the body by Lubin. Minute left in round number four on Showtime. As we await round number 10 seems on like the Fundora, zone. Seems like Fundora slowed down. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. But Lubin needs to keep going to that body when he can. Let his shots go. Because he's had success, especially with that overhand left, Ness. Oh, nice Oof. right there. Right hook by Lubin. Round number 10 is underway on the zone. Ryan Garcia, Emmanuel to go. To go landing a nice left to the body as Lubin does as well. Ooh, to go with a nice left to the body. Lubin with the left of his own. Lubin's starting to walk slowly. He's walking him down so far. Like he hasn't Ooh, taken a nice step back. Nice right hand there by Lubin. And another one by Lubin. Oh. Uh. 
Round number four. Well, I'm here so we tired. are. This is only round ten on the zone. Crazy. I, I, I and yo, we needed we needed Ryan to like really do something, but maybe he needs these rounds, Danny. Maybe he does. You know, he's been out of the ring 15 months, Ryan Garcia, that is. So just want to keep that into account. JB Cinema with the super chat. He says, Why does Goosen look older than Justin Beaver? Oh, what? and and to go's hurt. To go's hurt. He holds on for dear life. To go is hurt on the zone. Minute 45 left round number 10. To go goes down. But they call it a slip. Yo, the way Ryan tries to fight you when you're hurt, like get to you go off holding of him. on. Ryan with the elbow to go trying to survive here. Minute 30 left, round 10. To go moving, circling. Let's see if Ryan throws that right hand. He hasn't thrown the whole fight. Round number five underway on Showtime. To, this is the second time Emmanuel to go no has respect, been down. No respect for, for, for fight. to go by, from Ryan. I guess the same thing could be said for uh, to go in a sense, though, because he keeps going right into that right hand of Ryan, even though he's when he throws it, he hasn't really landed it too much, and he hasn't thrown it as much when to go goes to that left. Look right there, he's going to his left, right into Ryan's left. Two minutes and twenty seconds left over here on Showtime, though. Sebastian Fundora, Fundora, yo, Fundora, still letting hands go. Whether it's 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 slow, fast, hard, pace, he's 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 look, he's just lets hands go. It's just crazy. Missing a lot, but that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, it's about what the oh, judges like. Nice right see. to the body there by Lubin. Mm. Them uppercats finding a way in, man. Lubin got a another right hand by Lubin. Lubin got to hit this dude with something. As we they're on the inside again. Fandora answering with the left hook crazy. of his own. And Emmanuel to go makes it to see the end of round number 10 as we are on showtime. Minute 35 left, round five. The, it, Lubin got to change the tide a little bit because it's like he's on the ropes, man. Yeah. He's the only one on the back foot. At like, least at least throw some encounter right there as he did right there. I just, just wish he boxed. I just wish he – I mean, obviously it's too late. He, he wasted so much any – Energy fighting and, and clinching, but I, I I would have liked to see him, you know, jab, jab, take a couple steps, right hook, pivot, take I, a couple steps, you know what I'm saying? Create distance. It's, you know, but it's hard with a guy with an eight, you know, eight inch uh, height advantage on you next because you can only get in to get yours off and then you got to get back out before you're in his range as well. So perfect fight to do that plan because you know you ain't supposed to stay there, but Lubin is staying there. And I don't think it's purposely. I just think it's it's hard. Good with body a, shot by Lubin. A great left hook there. I I think it's hard, you know, with a uh, a guy with the activity rate and the punch output of a Sebastian Fundor. Like I said, most of them miss him, but it's just that activity in front of you. You got to be Lubin cautious. walking Fundor back now. He, another left uh -huh. hook. <laughs> Look to at the Kate body. Abdo saying Ryan not cutting off the ring too well. Hell no, he not. Nah. Not at all there. I mean, Ab I mean, that's either Kay Abdo or Sinisa. Mm. But round number five does come to an end over on Showtime. Yo, and even as it's ending, my man is still throwing punches. Crazy. I see, uh, I saw Darren Cunningham there in the Showtime Lubin's background. Lubin's family. Round number 11 on the zone. Ryan Garcia's return against Emmanuel to go. Two minutes left in round 11. Damn, Danny got the official Erickson Lubin this fight team shirt. Champ gave but, did, but didn't get one for us. Damn. It's crazy. This is crazy. You know, we sat down at the uh, at the at the dinner table yesterday. Oh yeah? After the weigh-in. Oh wow. And thank it, you. They happen to have an extra one my size, Ness. What can I say? You can say, I took Ness shirt the last time he got it delivered here. Let me bring him a gift. It wasn't your uh your size. Minute thirty left though, over on the zone. Emmanuel to go just to me it seems like just trying to make it 
to see the final bell. Yeah, it's called Survival. Round six underway on Showtime, however. His survival looks better than Joshua Clady, though. Clady had his, his hands up the whole time just blocking Pacquiao shots. We see the punch difference on the zone. Ryan Garcia, the far more active fighter in his fight. Emmanuel to go going down twice in the fight, once in the second, once in the tenth. Yo, I, I, I'm interested to see these scorecards of Lubin because he got that knockdown. Just how they scoring that shit. And it's been very close rounds, and that's, let's remember. <sighs> crazy, so, crazy. I think after the knockdown, though, Lubin went on a nice two, three round streak where he was just walking from door down. Damn, it's and already 10 o'clock, bro. Man, 940, yeah, champ. What the hell? Yo, so wait, if it's 10, damn, it's 1 o'clock over there almost? 1 a.m. on the East Coast. Bro, I'm so happy I don't oh, live over there no the... more, actually, yo, because boxing shits on East Coasters, man. Fucking terrible. Lubin and Fandor tr both trying to get theirs off in the clinch. They are in Lubin a dog fight, lands boy. a nice overhand right there. It's crazy. They 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 banging. Fandor throwing the left uppercut but misses. Lubin with a 19 punch body shot advantage. He needs to let more punches Fendora. go, though. He need to, oh shit, little left slipped in. He needed to throw a little bit more punches, man. Fandora just coming for, it's crazy, man, how the way Fandora fights because it's like, why would you want to use, to fight on the inside and not use your height and reach? But. That is the way the uh, the Samson Lewickowicz fighter, that is the way he fights. That is the way he fights. Uh, this is a tough fight, man. Extremely tough. Body shot lands by Fandora. This is a tough fight. 45 seconds left, round oh, number man. six on Showtime. As Ryan to go still in this fight. 12th and final round. Ryan Yo, the Garcia. betting line is fucked, right? They had Ryan as a crazy uh, uh, the bet the under. I wonder what the odds were. Forget the under for the fight to go the distance. That's oh, what I'm damn. saying. You're right, too. That's another prop bet. Yo. Like, Im imagine Ryan by decision guaranteed. Put a note there money. for us to contact bet online, man. We got to close that deal. Lubin there having success landing oh my that, God, bro. that left hand. Ryan is so weird with that right hand. It's like he's slapping with it, bro. To go with his own left. Round number six is over on Showtime. Lubin Fondora, very tough and uh awkward fight to score, man. It's uh it's been tough. Obviously, Fandora more active, but like I said once again, missing a I lot. I think since that knockdown, shit, it, it, it's up to it's up to Lubin to steal that momentum back. If not, and like I said, I thought in that third and fourth round, Lubin was doing a great job at that. Um, the last two have been closer. Who you think Devin like. talking about, Ryan? What do you say? Sad hand on face emoji, like. Gotta be talking about Ryan, right? I don't know. Ryan Garcia, minute 30 left, round number 12. 15-month layoff coming into this fight. But, I mean, you know, if, if the rumors are true, <clears throat> this is the way that it is because he's not practicing his, his, his skills, you know? But he's won every round. That is true. Round number seven underway on Showtime. They're debating already on the zone. How could this be a bad performance if he's pitching a shutout? Because they, they know what's coming. And I think uh, the reason it could be a bad performance is because the expectation. Of course. The, the expectation, expectation was you know, that he was getting a KO. He was calling for the, I mean, he was supposed to fight Pacquiao. In the I mean, it was division. supposed to be game over <laughs> for the game boy. And uh, instead it's not. 35 seconds left. Round number 12 there on the zone. Yes, sir. Over on Showtime, two minutes left. Round number seven. Fandora trying to catch 
Lubin with that uppercut. Damn, Lubin, Lubin, Lubin got a little right busted nose right now. Oh, my God. He's fucking sneaking that uppercut in there. Lube, get off the ropes. Bro, why he wants to be on these ropes? I don't get it. Come on, Lubin. Yeah. You got to get out Yo, off the to ropes. To go wildin', man. To go. Do the drunken master to go. Oh, man. Was he doing it for a second? No. To go just wanted to survive, man. Minute 15 over. They say he didn't get the knockout that he wanted. <laughs> oh, beautiful right hand there by Lubin, but Fendora answers with the left hook of his own, followed by a left uppercut. This is uh, it's going to be interesting to see what these scorecards are looking like. Oh, man, Lubin bleeding heavy, bro. Oh, shit. Where's that blood coming from? I think maybe his nose. Uh-oh. Damn, bro. Yeah. My man had like all these in the limit. Okay, that's right. Get doggy on. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh Lubin oh, hurts the door. Oh, my Fedora's God. The hurt. Lubin. Oh. The door. Oh, down goes Fedora. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, my goodness. Holy shit. That was a big oh, ass Oh, right beautiful. Man. Beautiful by Erickson Lubin. Oh, my God. And Fandora's eyes swell. Come on. What they doing? Now they want to give him mouthpieces right now when he fucking hurt? Come on. Stop the clock if you're going to do that, damn it. Oh, shit. Oh Big ass right hook by Lubin right off the bat. Oh, my God. Fandora's hurt. Clinching. Lubin, come on, man. You got a couple yeah, seconds. Yeah, you got to push him off you. Oh, Round man. number seven. It's over. In there. Fuck. And he get a pat on the back from Fandora. Oh, shit. Now that's what I'm talking about. Wake us oh, up! Oh wow, what a fight we have on our fans here uh, on our hands. Here we go. The heart of Erickson Lubin, man. Look at his. Oh my goodness, look at his face, Ness. No, I see it, bro. He's got a broken nose. That that bone on his nose. That's a broken nose. I know it got to be so hard to breathe with the broken nose, man. Bro, why I can't find? Maybe it's like I got I got a disconnect. No. Cause this 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 chrome, where my fucking Chromecast at, man? We do await the uh oh, it was that overhand right followed by the left hook and another left hook oh and then God. another one and then another one right hand, left hand. Oh my goodness, it was seven eight punches landed by Lube in there. Bruh. We do get the official scorecards over on the zone. Man, you saw a fuck ton of snot fly out of Fendora's nose, let me tell you. Bro, it's that right hook. You got to keep throwing that right hook. And then we got a super chat from Hector Martinez. Says the enthusiasm and grind is superb. Oh, well, shout out to you, Hack. We just doing what we love. Round number eight underway on Showtime. Can you Chromecast or no? Yes. Because this Ryan shit is done. What is it? CC La Okay. High Smart. Yeah, that one. High Smart TV. Lubin landing a nice left hand there to the face of Fendora. The I mean, champ, right here if we were uh, to everybody can you zoom out on me a little bit. Um to everybody tuned in on Showtime. It is obviously the knockdowns have Wait, now. You gotta mute them. your audio, mute your audio. Oh, 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 it is muted. Mine is muted. Muted on your side, Austin Harry. Huh? It's not him? Oh, is it me? Yeah, it's not coming through through the feed. Oh, so. it's not. No. Oh shit. Okay. I don't if I don't hear it, that means it's not coming through. Okay, because we oh, hear good, it on both We ears. hear it on both Steve ears, Farhood, so we see his unofficial scorecard. He actually has 67 65 Lubin. Yeah, so he he has it really close. Got another it super chat from fight. Rick Gonzalez. Oh, my God. The inside work. Like, yo, fucking uh, Fundora just throws so many punches. Lubin on the back foot right now. He's looking for that right hook. That's the one that killed Fundora. Got another super chat from Rick Gonzalez. Says, I'm driving into work right now. So happy y'all doing this on both fights. Blue looks good on Danny. Trade the <laughs> socks for L.A., though. Nah, nah, man. You know, I'm a South Sider. Beat Detroit today. Happy baseball's back. Minute thirteen. Yo, yeah. I, I just Round need, number eight. I just need Lubin to get 
again get that little bo- boost of energy. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what happened. He just got a little jolt and just went ham on him. Definitely. Yes. Get out of there. Don't stop staying in there. That's where he lands those uppercuts, champ. Oh my God. Yo, look at look at um Fondora's eye, right? Let me oh see my that, yeah. oh, that right that, eye. That right eye of Fondora. Uh, straight left just landed for uh Lubin. Oh, nice right hand there lands by Lubin as well. See, this is right here. Oh, beautiful left hand lands by Lubin. And another one. <clears throat> Work to the body. Fondor Damn. looking for that uppercut. 13, five seconds left. Four. Oh, you, wait, what? Oh, we on different timestamps somehow. So what? Seven seconds left round number eight. Why don't you just stream it then? I can't. It's my my. Mm. It's not showing up. Usually Chromecast shows up. I don't know what's going on. I that was a uh, Lubin round to me. I liked. Unlike some of those other rounds, he had a lot more success staying at bay when he would get his shots off. Um. Didn't stop Fendora, none from coming forward. But once again, you know, as it's been the whole fight, excuse me, a lot of those punches did miss. Lubin landed a number of beautiful left hands, overhand lefts, left hooks. Oh, the, I don't look that bad in the corner. Okay. His face is all red, though. <laughs> And I think they might have cleaned it up, but I did see some blood on his face in the last round, so we shall see. <laughs> round number nine underway on Showtime. Little inside left hands for Fandora as he's partially clinching with Lube, and this these are the things the judges are seeing. Who's working? You know, uh, you got to give both men credit as far as their oh. heart as Lubin lands another left hand. Yeah, big overhand left for Lubin. Bro, Lubin's face is yeah. swelled up. No, obviously, uh, you know, we believe it is a broken nose. We do not know for sure. We didn't have audio up until this point. But credit to both men in the clinch currently. Oh, good body work. By Lubin. But again, uh, Fundora just continues to work. So it's like, what do you like? The occasional big pot shot or combination? Or do you like the consistency of, you know, Fundora? Man. What a fight we have on our hands here on Showtime. Mm-hmm. This isn't anybody fight, Emilio. This is a pick em fight right here, boy. This is tight. Oh, there go the uppercuts on the inside. You can't clinch with this kid. You can't. You can't clinch with him. Lou been there getting out of the way of those, but Sebastian just keep coming forward. Man, his shit's starting to swell in the forehead, boy. A tough task in the corner of Hell Lubin yeah. for that swelling. Oof. Bruh, Lubin, yo, is he got to be careful with these uppercuts. Look, he don't even want him to clinch. 50 seconds left here in round number nine on Showtime. It's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. Oh, man, get off the ropes. Oh, my God, he looks so... Oh, get off the ropes. That was a big body shot by Fundora. Fuck. Damn, bro. He was so close. If he don't get this shit. Man. Saved by the bell. Ten seconds left here. 
Overhand left lands by Lubin. Oh, man. His Fendor. face getting so swollen, man. Come on, Lube. You got to... Got to Oh, fuck. They got to dig deep, bro. He got to do something. Shit. They stopped it. Yeah, look at his Kevin jaw, Kevin man. Hand. Oh, shit. Somebody threw shit. Oh, shit. Kevin about to go ham. Damn, bro. Shit, bro. It's so difficult, this sport, man, because you knew Lubin was waiting for his title shot all his life. He fucking fought four. This is like his fourth or third eliminator. And oh, my God. Look at his eye. Lord, have mercy. I hope he's okay. That nah, shit looks bad, uh, bro. You know, Lubin. Damn. Man, heart, man, heart. Balls. Fall like a warrior. Man, tough fight. Goes Look at down. his sister. She's fighting too. He goes down just to drop from door later in the fight, man. Damn. Fundor is a problem, bro. He's a problem for anybody. This shit is crazy. That's gonna be hard. I mean, obviously he could get hurt. You gotta you gotta dig, you gotta come forward on him, but yo, he hitting you all night, man. Sebastian Fondura is from where? I want to say Argentina. Uh, who throws the... I hope we can see who throw the I.O. Oh. No, I know. That's, that's the problem. Six straight fights, and he was... He, look at all that ice. That's fucked up, man, you bastards. It was either homie in the red hat or the person right next to him. Because mm. we do detective work here on the Boxing Voice. On the Boxing Voice. Nah, but right, the homie look, in the red hat Ryan, is at, Kevin. Look at Ryan trying no, to be... I was be, talking about in the crowd. L oh. look, look at Ryan trying to be the problem solver and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so isn't it a rule like if a coach throws something in the ring or steps foot in the ring like instant disqualification? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's that, not a but disqualification. That was, yes, it is. If you're not if it, if the round is is during the round, that was round over. He's allowed to get on the apron. If me and you fight and 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 he's your trainer and he gets on the ring, automatic. Go 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 look at James Kirkland, Carlos Molina in Texas. Yeah, but I'm saying they pick and choose when they want to call it though. I mean, obviously, Cause, everything cause look, is up to saw, the referee's we just discretion. Saw, we just saw Josh Taylor, Jack Catterall. Yo, Ben Davison sat on the apron for 12 rounds. Like I told you, uh, everything is up to the referee's discretion, but those are in the rules. If if you want to... Ouch. If you want to fucking... Uh, oh, he's from know. Coachella, California. He's American. Oh, really? No, he speaks Spanish though. What what where what's his ethnic? Uh oh, Cuban and Mexican. They're saying. I see a couple a couple. Uh, yeah, Cuban and Mexican. That boy flag. tall. That boy tall, tall. Damn! Now we we all main events happen. All the main events have happened. We called. We called uh, four different cards today. Bop, 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 bop. Yo, he got the Fondura headband. Look at my man Samson. He live out here too, man. We gotta get him on. Gotta get the TBV headbands up in here. I uh, know. We need. We need. We need. We need Samson oh, speaking, and Fondura. Speaking of Samson, I got somebody for you. We need to see the Sam. Is Fondura leaving? Cause he from Coachella. We got LA the guy that said Lubin got that Martin Lawrence naughty face. Man, he fought. With nothing but heart. Yeah, fight fans don't care about that shit. They only get this. What you have? What have you done for me lately? Damn, they gave the father a belt already. WBC in there deep. You think they would have gave it to Lubin? Yeah, they give it to every trainer involved in a sanctioned fight. Nah. Yeah, every trainer gets one. Nah. Before it used to be manager of the year or trainer of the year. Now every trainer gets one. Uh, 
Ha, <laughs> that was dope. He said, he really brought his hammers today, but I decided to bring my drill. And that's what he did. He kept fucking drilling his ass. Look at Team Batman said, I've been up since 8 a.m. waiting for Triple G, dog. We've been up since fucking 3 a.m. That's a fact, and we had a long day yesterday. I was surprised, Jim. He said, are you surprised he, he decided to stay on him? I was surprised. Uh, but see, that's what I'm saying. You know, when a fighter imposes something on you, you yeah, no, stamina, yeah. stamina, you got it. He, well, not, not he needed that. a rest, he needed not, a rest. Not just that, but you know what I'm saying? If he was trying to do something and, and Fondora made it to where he couldn't. Bro, he's taller than everyone in the ring. That shit is insane. He's taller than everybody in the arena. He's only 6'5". Chill out. Just saying. He might be, though. <laughs> he said he took a knee. That shit. Yeah, look at his face in that one compared to the end. Like, damn. Oof. That's intelligent. He said he intentionally took a knee in that barrage and, you know. So right now, for anybody just wondering, we are listening to the post-fight interview with Sebastian Fondora being conducted by Jim Gray here on Showtime on PBC. It was a good fight. Oh, he said uh, from round one to round nine, his face completely morphed. I wonder what's going to... That's interesting now. Like, I know Jamel didn't want to fight Lubin. He felt like been there, done that. Would he take on this guy? Be interesting to see. Especially with that size difference, that height difference. There you go. He said he want the real deal. He said it's an interim. I want the world championship belt. That's what I'm talking about. You know, it's like that quote on that Ali opener. He's like, man, he trying to make this a business. You know what I'm saying? And it's like if we had more people keeping it real... You know, less and less fighters would make certain decisions. You know, if we had more people, you know, uh, downgrading the interim, like, yeah, this is cool, but I want the real. Be oh, shit. Oh, shit, bro. Fucking hit rewind. Like, oh, shit. But I think his jaw's broken, too, man. Bro, I hope it ain't his orbital. Orbital. Fuck, man. That shit looks crazy, bro. Bro, that's so fucked up too. Six fights to get it to, to get it try to get back to that title shot. And then you, you you they put you in with this guy again. We got Matt Bent 100 in Kansas City. Ness, time to shame Emmanuel Lubin got hammered. Oh, okay, time to shame Emmanuel Lubin got hammered. Bowen Bama says Fundura versus Zilly Zhang and King Born backyard. Yo, they've been they've been matching them up with Mappy. They say uh Fundura versus Kersides. They wanna put them with anybody. Danny's total energy change. Come on, champ. You can't act like your your your, your dog died. Nah, nah, nah. You you know how it is though. You know how it is. That's uh but now nah, it was a good fight. Um 
you know, I, I know, I know Lubin's gonna bounce back, and uh, it'll be interesting. Yo, to it's see. crazy. Look it'll how short his it, sister is. It'll be interesting to see, but I, she probably six <laughs> one. No, she's tall. Look, she's tall. Every single yeah. judge, every single judge had Erickson Lubin up at the time of the. 76, 74 two times, and then 77, 75 one time. I wonder if Samson's going to be able to put her on TV. You know she's fighting. She's she's racking up wins like a mojo. Mm. Yeah. Damn, that's Al. Nah, that's his people back in Argentina. That's Al. Nah, that's the people. Oh that's you forgot to say thank Al Heyman. That's Al, man. Stop. People's in Argentina. <laughs> Why do I keep saying Argentina? I don't know. I don't know. We got Mad Bet one hundred that says Super was bad. Beat Sergio. I won that bet. Shout out to Mad Bet. That's Thress. That's that Al phone call. We got D Nice. He says candidate for fight of the year. Shout out. Shout out. I I I yo that is it. Ness GTO Instagram and Twitter. Ness the Gibbs on TikTok. And, and you can Ring catch Rogue, him. Danny, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok as well. Catch yeah, 